Hello, are we live? I believe. Oh, well, hopefully. Yeah, we are fantastic. Hi, I am Technovoid back with more Amori. Uh, last week we started this uh, game off. We beat Space Ex Husband. Or ex husband, ex boyfriend, excuse me. They they hadn't gotten that far yet, as far as I know. Um We're still in the prologue, which is kind of insane. Uh, but I do know where I need to go to actually exit out of that, which is nice. Um, what the heck was I doing? Why am I weaky? Uh, let me eat some nutritious candy, baby. Very good. All right, well, hopefully my audio sounds uh, better today. Where do I go for the... Here we go, this is Pluto, right? Station for Pluto Space Line. Do you want to? Yeah, I do. I love Pluto. He's fantastic. Is everyone strapped in? Wait, hold on. I'm not ready yet. Why is Bro Ma Why is Bro Mario Kart? Greetings and welcome to Pluto Space Line. Where will your journey take you today? I want to go to. I want to go to Nevermind. It's my favorite world. So you want to go to Upper World? You got it. Now just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Ah, he's fantastic. I love him so much. Okay, wait, who are you? Are you Neil? So many humans today. You guys are always such big fans of space travel. No, may maybe not. Yeah, okay, I didn't even see this down here. Completely missed this. Uh, hello. Bye, bye. That seems potentially important. Is this where the crows were? Feeling awfully humane, Nikki. I was gonna do the crow side quest, but uh, maybe not. Wait, Paschetti? Mary's cookies. Mary's cookies have so have much more love baked into them. I could eat them forever. Okay. Who's, who is that? Is that Basil? Am I, am I chasing down... Chasing down Basil again? Wait, what's that? Are these all, like, memories? Still young, we should dream big, right? Hmm. Ever so slightly concerning, but I'm sure it's fine. Is that just blood down there? No, surely, surely that's like ju juice. Bye. Oh, this is good. Stairs again? I already conquered my fear of stairs. You can't spook me with some stairs. Probably. It's a long set of stairs. I forgot how scary picking up fucking letters on a keyboard is. Jesus, okay. What is that? Sheet music on a music stand. All the notes have been scribbled out. Did something change? Did the fa- Am I crazy or did the faces change? Did the faces get scribbled out? A happy family. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, hi! Hi! <gasps> hey, what's good? 
Oh, we're back here. A tissue box for wiping your sorrows by your sketchbook. Uh, yeah, let's take a look inside. This always goes really great when we do this. I'm guessing we have to stabs ourselves again, waiting for something to happen. F? Wait, I have letters in place? E C E B A C A C E. I mean, the last word is probably place. Ah, give it the bada. Hate that we have to do that. Ugh, not pleasant. That time, I saw everything. When you stood here before, did you see it too? Something behind you. Three days left. Okay. Good. Good morning, Sonny. What up? How you feeling? How you feeling, dude? Dreaming of stabbing yourself again? You shouldn't do that. Good morning. I wake up in the morning feeling good. It's a table lamp. Hi, Sonny. It's my note for mommy. Right. Steak. You have a new message. Hey Sonny, it's Mommy. How are you doing? Are you eating well? I was hoping that I could make it back to see you today. But it's the last day of the big furniture sale and I just can't resist a good bargain. You can take care of yourself for a few days, right? After all, you're a big boy now. Remember to finish your chores before I get back. I left a list on the table next to your door. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye bye, honey. Bzzzt. An old computer. Do you want to play blackjack? Not really. I don't know the rules. Let's bet a hundred bucks. Oh, this is where you have to hit 17, right? So what does king count as? I'm at 15, I'm gonna stay that. He's already got a queen. He's got- Oh, he got a one. Okay, well, I was- <laughs> Well, shit. Let's do it again. I'm gonna bet a hundred dollars. We're going all in. Nine and two. That's uh, eleven. Eleven. The chances he's got the seven in his hand. So the chances of us getting. I feel pretty good. Let's hit that baby. Fuck. I believe I just. <laughs> God damn it. Wait, no, I win. Wait, I got. I got the number I needed. I think twenty-one. I need twenty-one. That's the number I need. I have two hundred bucks. Let's bet again. Let's go. King of four. What is that? That's like uh. Uh, 9, 10, what is it, 11, 12, 13, 13 and 4, 17, 17, uh, bu -bu -bu, he's got a 5 in his hand, we, we stay, we stay. Uh, fuck, he's, he's trying to go for it. Uh, we stay that. God damn it. <laughs> Needed a hit. We have a hundred bucks, we're winning. Easy hit. Easiest hit of my life. What is that? Uh, yeah, we hit that. Hit that shit. Shit, what, what is this? Oh, we win! Let's go! Fuck him! Yo, I'm black jacking for life, baby. Uh, jacking a five, jacking a five. That's uh, blah, 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 that's like a fourteen. Hit that shit. Fuck. <laughs> Why is there a shark? Oh, cause it's a card shark. I get it. I have a hundred bucks. Let's go. Uh, jacking a nine. That's almost perfect. We stay that. Unless he. <laughs> We're out of money. I think. Well, that was fun.
What else we got? A bunch of books! Those are for nerds! A wardrobe. An ordinary houseplant. Nothing special about it. Mom's to-do list. You don't feel like doing your chores right now. That's valid. Oh. Well, hopefully uh, hopefully that one isn't uh, <laughs> my dead sister. Let's quickly save right here. Okay, so I'm actually going to save twice, because I believe this is the point where you have the two different files. Um... So now, we should hopefully be able to come back and do the second round later. I'm busy! I'll be there in a second! Dude, chill! No, I do not like that room. Uh, that, man. Sonny really hates, like, half half the house, huh? Hello, hello, Sonny, are you there? Do you remember me? It's your old friend, Kel. So I, uh, I noticed the for sale sign in front of your house, and I... Uh, I heard from my mom that you were moving away soon. I was wondering if you wanted to hang out one more time before you go, or whatever. For old time's sake, you know? Cal, you wouldn't jump scare me, would you? What would you like to do? Let's open the door! Hi, Kel! Your neck's not about to snap on me, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what up? Wow! You actually came out! <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, Sonny. I really didn't expect you to come out today, so I don't really have a game plan here. Hey, I know! Let's go to Hobbies! It's the hobby shop in the faraway plaza. You remember the way, right? We used to go there all the time when we were kids. Oh, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Alright. An empty picnic basket. I'm outside. Uh, you shouldn't walk in the streets, honey. That's dangerous. Damn, Kel's not gonna let me kill myself, this is so sad. Pinwheel blows freely in the wind. Whose house is this? Who's this duck? Wait! Hold up, Sonny! I know it's been a while since you've been over at my place, but right now might not be a good time. But I want to pet the doggy! Let me do it! Doggy! Doggy, come over here! Doggy! I want to pet you. Fine. Who lives here? Plastic flamingos does create this art. They seem to be in good spirits. A row of colorful trash can. The black trash can is for trash, the blue trash can is for recyclables, and the green one is for nature stuff. Then you shouldn't you have called it the recyclable can and the nature stuff can? What's wrong with you? Is they, anyone home? There's no response. Oh, <gasps> they must be dead. It's the only explanation. A statue of a religious figure. You feel as if it is judging you. That does track. Knock, knock. It's me. Oh. Well, I guess they're not excited to see me. That's understandable. A big red stop sign. <laughs> I feel like I'm just gonna get hit by a car. Far away park. The future below. Oh, we actually found it. Like, just in one. I'm so good at this. I have trash. Who are those two? Why do they have doggy bags on their head? A vending machine. Oh, 
water fountain. You can see coins at the bottom. Pick them up. I just made a wish that I would meet my one true love today. Well, here. Wait, is that him? <laughs> is that his space boyfriend? Come on, Sonny, let's go to hobbies first. Okay. <laughs> well, here we are at hobbies. It's probably been a while since you were here, but it hasn't really changed all that much. It's all the same old stuff. Captain Space Boy games, sweetheart movies, a few pet rocks. Except now they're vintage! Actually, yeah, since we're here, I should probably buy a gift for Hero. He's in college right now, but he should be coming by sometime tomorrow. He's starting to be a doctor, so maybe I should buy him some medicine? No, that's a horrible idea. You should not pick up other gifts, Sonny. Let's go, go walk around and see what there is. Some colorful CDs, but you can play them in jukebox. These CDs look pretty cool, but I think Hero would appreciate something more sentimental. Let's keep looking. A cardboard cutout of Captain Space Boy. Playing cards are scattered across the table. New video game called Super Ultra Sprout Mole Eater Revenge of the Moles 3. Rated M for Mature, huh? That's too violent for Hero. He definitely won't appreciate something like this. <laughs> so everything in the dream world just exists in... Sonny's actual life. That makes sense, but I like it. A bunch of small figurines. I've always been fond of these little guys. Hero would get mad at me for spending my lunch money on them, though. Let's not remind him of that. Chock full of comics. Looking through these comics brings back so many memories. It's just like old times, huh, Sonny? Hero was never too interested in comics, though. This place is kind of small, but has a lot of old and rare collectibles. People even like to come all the way from the city to shop here. My favorite novel just got a comic adaptation. But the main character looks nothing like how I imagined him. Poster for a new game where you can travel across different worlds. Nothing you haven't seen. A game called Captain Space Boy Space Adventure. It costs one dollar to play. Hey Sonny, let's get Hero's gift first. We can play later. Wait! Wait, hold on now, Kel! You brought me here to do chores with you! <laughs> We're not hanging out! I'm just Brian, your brother, some An old video game console hooked up to a TV. I already had this console, Sonny, and I don't think I can afford to. Money machine. It's three bucks to try. Hey, Sonny, let's get Hero's gift first. We can play later. An interesting poster. Wow, the monster of the poster is so realistic. I bet fighting that would be a tough battle. Will you challenge this monster to a battle? It's a... It's a... This is the real world, that's a poster. That This is the real world, that's a poster. What are we doing? <laughs> the fuck happened to the music? What is happening? <laughs> I've got a very active imagination. I punched a poster a few times. How do you feel about that? <laughs> That's a good react. Hello, Sunny. Earth to Sunny. Whoa, a CD fell from behind the poster. Weird. I wonder who hit it there. I guess you can just take it? That's theft. You got a Mary CD. This, yes, this is perfect. Papa, Papa Chips chip off the old block cookbook. Wow, that's a mouthful. Here, I had a copy of this when we were kids, but our Dr. Hector destroyed it. He's gonna be so happy when he sees this. But before that, we need to ask the most important question. How much does it cost? Bucks! This is extortion! Shoot, I left my wallet. I fuck. Kel? I fucking knew it. You piece of shit, I love you. Uh, can you spot me, Sonny? I'll pay you back, I promise. I'm moving away in three days. No, you're not. <laughs> and thanks, friend. You, I can count on you. Literally, Bro's been bumming at my house trying to get me to come out and buy him a cookbook. <laughs> Fantastic. Let me buy a capsule. I, 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 oh, fine. 
Hey, shopkeep, we'd like to buy this cookbook, please. Cal, how you been, buddy? It's been a while since you come around, hasn't it? Ah, it's Papa Chip's Chip Off the Old Block Cookbook. I see you have good taste. Yeah, my brother used to follow his recipes all the time. His cookies were my favorite. It's rare that I see another fan of Papa Chip's work. That'll be 20 bucks, please. Thank you, kind sirs. Please enjoy. You got Hero's gift. Thanks a lot, Sonny. I bet Hero will love this. Okay, now can I buy a capsule? Yes! I got a red hand! Let's go. Yeah, I wanna play Captain Space Boy. Yeah. Yo! I see you have your eyes on that video game. It's called Captain Space Boy Space Adventure. It was more popular a few years ago, but it still retains some competitive players today. You from all over town have tried it, but I'll have you know that I still hold the high score, huh? If you can beat it, I'll give you something cool. Let me in, bro! What am I doing? You're not gonna tell me how to play? Oh, it's, uh, space. That, you know, that makes sense. Rice is averted. Woohoo! Bro. I don't think you're good at- I don't think this game's very hard. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Never mind. He's gaming, he's gaming, he's so gaming. Woohoo! How many of these are there? <laughs> I do. Well, Tickle be impressed. You actually beat my score. Oh, you suck. Guess I should make you room for the new generation, huh? Here's your prize, as promised. I only give this out to people I think are really cool. You got cool glasses. Nice. Let me put them on. I'll be cool. Red, sticky, and shaped like a hand. Even cooler when worn indoors. They'd give me no stats, but I do get to wear them. So, uh, where do you want to go now, Sonny, now that, you know, I spent all your money? Guess there's not really much to do in the suburbs, huh? Oh, how about Faraway Park? Yeah, the park! We pass it on the way here. That sounds fun, doesn't it? Maybe. Let me go to Geno's. Yo, I'm Michael, a soon-to-be traveling musician. I've been playing guitar here in Town Plaza for years now, but I think I'm finally ready to move on. Will you help me reach my goal? Anything will help. I'll give him a buck. Yeah, sure, why not? Get out of here, bro. I hate your music. Hmm. Looks like I have still quite a bit to go before I can afford to leave town. Thank you, and return on- No! Is it- is it better here than it was in the dream? No, it's just KK Slider again. I don't have a reservation. Kindly seat yourself. You guys got pizza? Hello, hello, my name is Gino. I know what you're thinking, and no, I don't own this place, but they give me a free whole pizza for my birthday every year, so that's pretty cool. My wife keeps telling me that I'm getting chubbier and tubbier, but I just can't help myself when we live so close to delicious food like Gino's pizza. Oh, mmm, pizza. All right, I take pride in being a musical connoisseur of sorts. If you play a CD on the jukebox over there, I bet I can tell you who the artist for the track is. Okay. 
Yeah. You inserted the Mary CD. Do you want to play a song for the jukebox? Hell yeah. It is pretty merry. I know this song. This is an original by Toby Fox. Oh, cool. That's awesome. An arcade machine. Doesn't look like it's working. Oi, kiddos. Cut me on my break. I've been trying to decide what to eat for a good ten minutes. But I don't know why I'm fussing so much. Whatever I get, shall it be good? Ah, ah. Oh, I, f I found Pluto. I found Pluto, guys. <laughs> This is fun! I like- I like meeting all the people. Hello and welcome to Gino's Pizza. What can I get for ya? A whole pizza? Eight eighths of a whole pizza. Hero's favorite food. You know what? That does track. A tasty soda. Let's get an orange juice. Let's just get one. <gasps> Drink orange juice! Have you ever heard of the phrase, orange is the happiest color? No? Well, that's fine. Just know that the same concept applies to orange juice. This vitamin C, which is essential for healthy immune system functions. It's also an antioxidant that may have health benefits by protecting your cells from free radical damage. So, would you like to buy some orange juice for two dollars? No. Okay, that's fine. As long as you're not buying any apple juice. They selling apple juice around here? I love trash. It's my favorite. There's so many types of tamales on the market right now. I don't need any of that fancy stuff. Canned tamales are good enough for me. My husband keeps eating junk food. I need to make sure he has a healthy meal. My mom and I had to buy healthy stuff at the other market because she threw away all our snacks at the house yesterday. I think she's been on a health crisis since my dad's been only eating junk food lately. Why can't we do both? Damn, kid, I'm sorry. Fucking sucks to be you, idiot. All the containers in the section can be recycled to create new containers over and over and over again. Such a beautiful concept, isn't it? My son Billy is such a stickler for the environment. He and his friends are always picking up trash around town. It's good to see so many young people these days taking care of the planet. Kids need anything for cuts or scratches. Oh, I can I can heal some heart. Sure, let's get a bandage. Uh, is there nothing I can do? No, I guess not. Oh, can I switch to to Kel? I don't remember what the button for that is. It doesn't look like I can. I have one job and it's to sell meat. Cool. I hope we meet again. You know, if I had the money, I might buy from you. Hello. Fish? Uh-uh. No, I don't think so. Red! Cover cut out of the shop owner. Seems a bit much. Welcome! We hope our candy makes you smile. I told you, can't see? It's smiley! Smiley! Y y yes, ma'am. Hmm. Is this. Is this perchance. Sweetheart? Hi, <laughs> it's me, the happy and cheery Miss Candace. What would you like today, smiley, smiley? Uh, nothing. Please come again. Or else. Smiley, smiley. Hmm. Yeah, I will not be surprised if that's <laughs> sweetheart. Chewy, chewy taffies. Sensational sour gummies. If you're feeling stressed, may suggest some tea. Earl Grey and chamomile are good, but Bubba is my favorite. 
my opinion, food is only a vehicle for sauce. Damn, that's deep. I won't pick up the trash. Was the store's name Fix I? They lost the T. Welcome to Fix It, where you can buy stuff and fix it yourself. What can I interest you in? Oh, flowers? What? Oh, like fixing relationships? I get it. After all this time, we finally moved in together. This is so exciting, isn't it, Sean? Yeah, this is the start of our rest of our lives. Now it's time to make our first important decision. What color should we paint our house walls? Hmm, I think anything would work. I like all the colors. What do you think, Sean? I could go anyway, too. Don't worry about me. You can choose, Karen. What color would you like? Oh my god. They're the worst. Oh, Sean, you're too selfless. I don't need to pick a wall color. I'll be happy with anything as long as I'm you. I give them a weak tops. Karen, if we keep doing this, we're going to be stuck here forever. Hmm, you're right. What if we just close our eyes and pick a color? Oh, that works. That way, the result will be completely impartial. Let's do it. Okay, sounds good. Close your eyes. Close your eyes, Karen. Well, wait. No, you close your eyes. Hold on. It's okay. You should be the one to do it, Sean. I insist. Oh, my God. Can I leave? No, Karen. It should definitely be you. What if I pick a color you don't like? Oh, we're not getting anything done, are we? <laughs> I have an idea. Let's get a stranger to help us. Hey, you! Could you help us out for a second? Please come in and pick a color sample. Just make sure it's completely random. You picked a floral wallpaper sample. They don't like it. Huh? What's this wallpaper doing here in the paint section? Mm, it must have gotten misplaced. Well, it's not really what I was expecting, but I'm kind of digging it. What do you think, Karen? A wallpaper seems neat. I think this works just fine. Let's do it. Thank you so much for your help. We're both from this area, but we moved in together into a brand new house recently. It's the one with a yellow roof on the street near the church. We're thinking of having a heartwarming party two days from now. It would be amazing if you could join. I cannot, and thankfully... Cement. Smile, you're on camera. Hey, stranger, how's your day been? My day's been going just great. Wonder why? Because today is the day that I'm finally going to be fixing the leak in my house. My problem began a couple of weeks ago. I found a really stubborn leak in the corner of the living. Does this store just attract annoying people? Like, is that what's happening here? How it got there, I don't know. It wasn't very noticeable at first, but the leak has been slowly getting worse and worse every day. To tell you, the store's name should be Fix Eye, honestly, because these people need some fixing. But you know what? Today's the day everything changes. Yes, I'm finally here to fix it. My tools are ready, and I'm, I'm gonna fix it. Whew. Sorry for running to you like that. This league might have been driving me mad without me knowing. My house is right next to the church, southwest of here. If you want to come by and watch this momentous occasion, please be my guest. Yeah, I don't know, maybe. If I literally can't think of a single better thing to do. Hey, that didn't seem normal. Why were there ghosts? You found a seashell. Why were there ghosts back here? What? <laughs> Do I dare talk to them again? Yeah, I, I cannot. More trash. Let me walk out into the street. A coin! Wait, don't go, please. Sorry, dude, I can't help you. You're on your own. Uh-oh, there's some commotion going on over there. Let's check it out. This ain't none of my business. If you got beef with her, then talk to her yourself, you creep. I'm begging you, just ask her to give it back. She won't listen to me. Wait, is that? That's Basil! Leave him alone, you bully! Huh? Who's there? Bro, Kel's a ghost? That's crazy. Oh, it's just Kel. <laughs> Why don't you mind your own business? Well, why don't you go bother someone else, Kim? Shh! 
Well, ain't you, aren't you acting all high and mighty? You don't make the rules around here. What's going on over there? Bro, is that Aubrey? <laughs> the fuck? It is! Oh, hey, Aubrey. This nerd Kel just showed up and thinks he can boss me around. Yo, Aubrey in real life kind of sick with it. Got the fucking nail with the, the fucking studded baseball bat. Jesus. <laughs> Let's show him what's what. Kel? What do you want? Stop messing with Basil. Basil, how could you? I don't know if it's Basil or Basil. <laughs> we all used to be friends, don't you remember? Tell her, Sonny. Sonny's here? Hello! Hi! Am I a ghost? Wow, it really is you. It's been a while, but you haven't changed a bit. How long has it been since you left your house? Whoa! Three years! Wow! <laughs> Maybe for Jesus Christ. Sunny. Sunny. Must have been nice to live in your own little bubble. Watch it, Aubrey. You don't know what he's been through. <laughs> Whatever. Aubrey, please uh, listen to me. Oh. Hey, stop that. Leave it alone, Kel. This isn't your problem. What the heck is wrong with you, Aubrey? Sonny, come on, we gotta do something. <laughs> Are you guys really picking a fight? <laughs> guys, she has a baseball bat. Sure, why not? The two of you against me, how's that sound? Come at me. I'll take on the both of you. Jesus Christ, I love the background though. Oh, damn. God, what the? Is, is that a knife? <laughs> Bro, I just stabbed her. What the fuck? Sonny, you're a psychopath. You just stabbed her. <laughs> oh, shoot. Uh, Aubrey, are you okay? You're, you're hurt. I only did 12 damage. Killed her a... Ba she had a bait. Baseball bat with the nails, that also hurts. I'm fine. I did just dab her though. No, you're not. You're bleeding. Come on, we gotta get you out of here. I'll get you back for this. <laughs> Damn, what is going on in this neighborhood? Whoa, that was about to get really messy. Uh, good thing you had your knife there, we would've... But wait a sec, give me that! Hell took away your steak. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? You shouldn't be carrying around things like this, Sonny. It's dangerous. I don't know if I trust you with a knife, either. Aubrey's really changed since you last saw her. Her and her new friends have been nothing but trouble. Poor Basil. Let's check if he's okay. Yeah, maybe. Okay, fine. Hey, Basil, how you doing? Uh, I'm fine. Thank you, Kel. I don't know if you noticed, but Sunny's here too. Say hi, Sunny. Oh, hey, Sunny. It's been a while, hasn't it? Uh... Woohoo! What a happy reunion! So, do you want to hang out with us today? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'd love to, but I uh, I should probably head home. Huh? Really? Are you sure? Uh, my um my grandma has been feeling too well lately. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, let's at least walk you home. It's been a long while since we've all hung out. Oh, uh, all right then. Thank you. Um, weren't you guys just gonna drop me off? Fine. Oh my God. When do we get hit by the car? Excuse me? There's just enemies? Excuse me, why is there a wormhole in the real world? 
he's not there? He wasn't real, you 10-year-old? Meow? There's Pazzle's house. It's the one with the green roof. Um, thanks for walking me home. No problemo. If you ever need anything from me, just ask, okay? We'll catch you later, Basil. Okay. Wait! Please don't go! Uh, I mean, uh, I'm so sorry, I actually have a favor to ask. Anything, Basil. What do you need? Uh, well, you see, uh, something important was taken from me. When we used to be friends, do you remember how I used to take pictures of everyone? Of course I remember! Those photos meant everything to you. Uh, right. Well, Aubrey... She took my photo album and... Aubrey stole your photo album! Well, she... she won't give it back. What a scumbag! Don't you worry about a thing, Basil. Me and Sunny got you covered. We'll just stab her again a few times their steak knife. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. By the way, about what you said before. We're still friends. I want you to know that, okay? Okay. Well, I'll see you later. Sonny, there's no time to lose. We got a photo album to find. Let's check Faraway Park for clues. Fertilizer. P.E.U. Everything just... Kind of ominous. A yo-yo. There's no response. Oh, do these say whose house it is? No. Hey, stranger. You're just in time to help critique my latest work in progress. I like your dog. Bark, bark. Bark, 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 bark. Locust, quit your yapping! Aww. I'm gonna go into your house. Some cheap paints. An unfinished painting. Why am I in your house? Why are you letting me do this? Oh, I can't look in the mirror. <laughs> I'm glad Kel did not follow me to the bathroom. That was awesome of him. Look at this sketch for me. What do you think? The drawing looks too stiff, doesn't it? Yeah. Thanks, I thought so too. Yeah, it's all coming to me now. Inspiration has stricketh! And voila! Oh, that looks much better. Hey, can I poke you for a minute? Uh, only with a steak knife. I feel like this piece is missing something. Maybe the character needs a little more detail? Oh, I know. I can just add some detail right here, 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 and here. That would work, wouldn't it? No. Hmm, are you sure? I feel like you could really use a little more detail. Okay. Of course, it's so obvious, don't you think? Yeah, it's all coming to me now. Inspiration is stricketh. And voila! Ah, it's beautiful. The extra detail really does make a difference. Hey, can I get your opinion for a sec? What do you think about the color here? Should I make the background red or blue? Wait, don't answer. It would definitely look better with a red background, right? Of course! I completely agree. Red is undoubtedly the best choice here. Red will bring the painting to the next level. Yes, it's all coming to me now. Inspiration is tricky. And voila! Yeah, I, I, I get how this is going. Oh! Okay. Don't be mean to your dog, lady. Just, I thought I should mention that. I mean, does anything happen if I knock? Hmm, no one's answering. Maybe Basil's in the bathroom or something. Well, that's okay, we can catch up with him later. Come on, Sonny, we got a photo album to find. Yeah, I'm sure Basil's just in the bathroom. I'm 
I'll pick up this trash. What's happening over there? Hey kids, you're here just in time to watch me fish this pipe once and for all. Come in, come in. Guys, stranger danger. Do not go into this man's house. I'm controlling them. I just walked in. Oh god. Oh, this is not the kind of place you want to be. <laughs> this is... So many flags. This is not great. I'm glad he's worried about the mirror, though. That's de or the the pipe, though. That's really what's wrong with this place. Just a few more last-minute adjustments, and I can finally put this baby to rest. Aha! The sweet sound of silence at last! Brrr. Rats! Guess I'll try again tomorrow. Your place probably is full of rats! How did you guess? Here's one dollar, kids. Go get yourself some candy or something. He got off to that. There, he. I feel dirty for taking that money. Looks like they're setting up for a sermon. You don't really want to spend your last days here hanging out at the church, do you? Yeah, that's what most people want to use their last days spending doing, right? Going to church so you end up in, 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 in the Lord's domain. That's what it's all about. We are going to get hit by a car at some point. It's going to happen. It's going to be a fucking cutscene. Cat. A large metal cat. You remember it being a lot bigger. Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> what are you doing here, Kel? Are you from around this part of town? <laughs> oh, well, I didn't expect to see you here, Jay. Sonny, this is Jay. He's captain of the football team in my high school. I didn't know you played basketball, too. Uh, I'm just here to kill time. It's more of a hobby than anything. You trying out for the basketball team that's right. Is you right, Kel? Maybe you can teach me some of your tricks? Yeah, definitely. That sounds like fun. But maybe another time. My childhood friend Sonny is here is leaving town in the next few days, so we're hanging out all day today. I'll definitely catch up with you later, though. Sure, we can set something up next week. Same time, same place. Hey, so yep, sounds good to see you then. We are the recycle cultist follower of the holy bin. As you, as all of Litton, they must all must accept that they are trash. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Okay, I, I have trash. Can I give it to you? Stench of this man is undescribable. Hey, bub. Could you spare a few nickels? We appreciate it. Here's a buck. You have donated one dollar to Smelly Hobo. Thank you kindly. I'll just take that off of you. An artist is diligently sketching away. Wow, well, that's a cool drawing of the park you have there. Ah! Oh, hi there. Thank you. I'm just practicing. That's what you call practicing, but it looks so real. I bet you could even sell that for money. Don't you think so, Sonny? See? Even Sonny agrees with me. Heck, I'd buy that from you right now. Hey, Sonny, can you lend me $20? Uh, thanks. That's so nice of you, but it's not for sale. It's for my portfolio. I'm trying to get into art school next year. Aw, oh, darn, that's too bad. That would look great on my bedroom wall. Y you really think so? My name is Mincy, what's yours? I'm Kellen, this is Sonny. Hi, Kellen, Sonny. It's nice to meet both of you. It's nice to meet you, Mincy. Hey. Oh, what's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. You're the first person to say something positive about my drawings. Sometimes when I'm feeling down, it makes me question myself, and it gets hard to move my pencil. No way! I don't believe that at all! I really think your drawing is great. I wouldn't be able to do that in a million years. <laughs> don't be so hard on yourself, Mincy. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do that in a million years, because both my arms are broken, and I'm blind! <laughs> me and Sunny believe in you! Yeah, you're right. I just gotta shake off those bad feelings. I'll, I'll try to buckle down and finish this now. That's the spirit. See you around, Mincy. You got this. 
Kel is a ray of sunshine, and I'm not sure if I love him or hate him. I definitely love him. I don't know why I said that. Oh no, you look like you're hurt. Here's a bandage. You can get more at the pharmacy and other mart. Thanks. Hello, young'uns. I don't know if you've been watching where you're stepping, but there's quite a bit of trash around this town. If you better find any, can you bring it to me so I can dispose of it properly? Come on, young'uns. Help the world one step at a time. See, so you have some trash with you. Here's $9 for your help. Wow, big spender. You gonna sell me apple juice? Oh. Uh, 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 drink apple juice! You ever heard the phrase, an apple a day keeps the doctor away? The same concept applies to apple juice. This is another mother of... Ah, oh, God. I, 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 I. Brah, brother. Apple juice supports hydration. It contains beneficial plant compounds and may support heart health. It may also protect your brain as you age. There are no downsides as far as I'm concerned. So, would you like to buy some apple juice for two dollars? No. Okay, that's fine. As long as you're not buying any oranges. Those two are absolutely lovers. They are estranged lovers. This is a fact. When I was younger, my family used to go to this park a lot. I remember there being a lake with a statue in the middle, but I can't find it anywhere. That's a rock. Got trash. I can't I can't delete it. I'm trying to stream a game. Oh ho ho, hello. Uh, today is such a beautiful day, don't you think? I may not have any money, but at least the sunlight is free. <laughs> so anyways, I just could spare the change during this hard time. Yeah, here's a buck. Spreading the wealth. Thanks, good lads. We should have paid you back somehow. Hmm, <laughs> looks like Aubrey isn't here. Oh wait, I know you. Your name's Charlie, right? I see you hanging out with Aubrey sometimes. You know where she is? Stormy, I don't know what you want me to do. I can't exit out of the thing and go over to the other thing. It's not a big deal. It's words. They're not going to hurt you. You know, Charlie, I can tell you're not really a mean type of person. Aubrey took something important from Basil and we need to get it back. Is there any way you can help us? The fuck? Who? What? Where? Now? What'd you do that for? Ah, if it isn't killing that weird knife guy, we're the adversaries for the great and mighty Angel. Finally, it is time for you to meet your doom. Angel, we don't have time for this. We just want to find Aubrey. Do you know where she is? You seek Aubrey, do you? Interesting. I will tell you what I know. But first, you must best be in battle. But battle? But I don't want to punch a kid. You won't be able to lay a finger on me. Come on, lay sick him, Charlie. Uh, okay. Do I get to stab them? Oh, it's them. It's... <laughs> I don't remember their names. Burly and whoever. I'm gonna stab Angel. Nah, I'm gonna stab Charlie. Let's, let's, let's beat up Charlie. Oh. Stab him! Stab him! Oh no, I got my knife taken away from me. This is so sad. You surprised me, Kel. You would make a worthy rival for my master. Charlie's gonna get mad. I just knocked this kid out. You, you pay for this. How could this be? My trainer is off for nothing. Oh, my head hurts. You're the one who started it. You bully. <sighs> okay, Angel, it's time to be serious now. We beat you and Charlie, so tell us where Aubrey is. Mm, 
A promise is a promise, I suppose. I will honor my word and tell you what I know. The truth is, Aubrey is somewhere in far away town. Probably. Dang it, Angel! You better not be messing around or else. I told you I'd tell you what I know, and the truth is, I don't know anything. Angel, you better tell us where she is now, or else I'll tell everyone about that time you wet your bed at summer camp. <gasps> what, what, what? You can't do that! That's cheating! Anyway, I really don't know. Maybe you could ask my Master the Maverick. He's the keeper of all knowledge. He told me that himself. The, the Maverick? Oh no. You mean that weird kid, Mikael? Yeah, don't you dare call him by that name. He would take great offense to that. I see. So it is him. <laughs> the Kel expressions are so good. Where can I find Mika? I mean, the Maverick. I'll tell you what I know, but yeah, you have to fight me first. Or I can tell everyone about that time you. Yeah! Okay, fine. I'll talk. Uh, I bet went to the fountain at the faraway plaza. He said he was gonna meet some there, some girls there for a date or something. Ugh, disgusting. Come on, Sonny. Let's go to faraway plaza. I think we're done here. Poggies. A teddy bear. Can I ride the slide? No. Thank you. And then I told you, it's not Maverick. It's the Maverick. Oh, the Maverick, you're so funny. Haha, <laughs> wow, what an amazing story, the Maverick. Girls, girls, please, there's enough of me to go around. Uh, Mikael, what are you doing? <laughs> if it isn't Kel, my arch nemesis. Finally here to admit defeat, are you? I don't have time for this, Mikael. Uh, we're just looking for Aubrey, have you seen her around? S Stop calling me that! I cast away that name a long time ago. Kyle, do you know where she is or not? Again with that godforsaken name! How dare you make a fool out of me! I, the Maverick, will not stand for this! Prepare to face your doom! Watch this, ladies! I'll wipe the floor with this loser! Please, Mikael, don't do this to yourself. I'm gonna ask one more time. Fight me, you rod! Don't be a chicken! really gonna do this. Okay then, come on Sonny, let's take him down. Oh Kel, you pitiful fool. You don't stand a chance against the Maverick. Oh, Kel whiffed. Oh, Kel's mad. Hit him, Kel. Beat him up. What skills do you have? Encourage, raise a sunny's attack. A bro's bragging? Mm, not bad, but this fight's just getting started. Hey, uh, hey, uh, Kel, can I have, uh, can I have my knife back? Kel's Enraged. <laughs> it's expected of my rival, but I must tell you, while you were fooling around or playing sports, was he studying the blade? I was honing my techniques just for this moment. You'll never reach my level of skill. You're going down, Kel. Give me my knife. I need it. This guy's shirt is pissing me off. <laughs> I hate that it's half tucked in. Let me destroy him, please. Ah, is that all you got? I've only been using 10% of my power. Behold, my final form! Is your final form where you untuck the whole thing? I bet you're regretting your decision now. I'm just way too cool for you. You're nothing but a loser! Damn, he actually hit me pretty hard. It's only a matter of time before you tie yourselves out. My big dreams have been... Oh, 
I don't actually know if that does anything. Do I have- oh, I have more bandages. Patch that right up, buddy. I'll admit, I'm impressed, but you're still light years away from defeating me. Is that right? No, this is impossible, improbable, absolutely inconceivable. I won't let it end like this. I just beat up a man in broad daylight. No, it can't be over for me. People of Earth. Lend me your strength. Hiya! Ew, what is with this guy? He's so lame. This isn't worth $10. Let's get out. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, you know, respect the man for fucking, fucking supporting local businesses, I guess. <laughs> Jesus. L ladies, uh, please come back. Uh, I have more money. <laughs> Bro, are you wearing a wig? Mikael? There is no one here by that name. Please, I'll never ask you for anything again in my life. Just tell me where Aubrey is and we'll go. Okay, fine. I do have to know where she is and I'll tell you. On one condition. You must call me by my true name, the Memory. Oh, forget it. Let's just go find Kim. She probably knows where Aubrey is. Her and Vance are major sugar heads, so I have a hunch that they'll probably be somewhere near Candy. Who tell you where Aubrey is, and let's go with the Maverick. Okay, cool. That's so cool for you. Vance are probably around here somewhere. Oh, hey, there she is. Hurry, Vance, let's shove it all in our pockets before someone sees us. Hey, Kim, have you seen Aubrey anywhere? Shoot, it's that nerd Cal. Come on, Vance, we gotta go. Oh, hold on there. I don't think you paid for those. Get out of the way, nerd. You don't know me. Hey, oh, hey, hold on. I'm not here to snitch. We just need to find Aubrey. You know where she is? Uh huh? Aubrey, I don't know anything about that. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Uh, I've had enough of this for today. Kim, let's make a deal. You tell me where Aubrey is and I won't turn you in for stealing all that candy. I thought you said you weren't a snitch. And I don't need to be if you just tell me where Aubrey is. You two again? I thought I told you to never come back here, smiley smiley. Uh-oh. Hand over the stolen candy. Don't make me call the cops on you kids. Smiley, smiley. We've been busted. Fine, here's your stupid candy. Come on, fans, let's get out of this dump. Yeah, <laughs> serves you right. We still don't know where Aubrey is. Wait. How will we find out where Aubrey is? I love that facial expression. Come on, Sonny. Let's go follow them. Hold up one sec, Sonny. I think I have an idea. Oh, did you purchase some candy with the wallet that you forgot? Sorry for the hold up. Let's go catch Tim and Kim and Vance. How did you afford that with all my wallet? <laughs> Sorry, fans. No candy today. No, not again. I don't know how much longer I can last. We're going to die. <sighs> Let's just go home. We're gonna be late for dinner. My blood sugar, Kim. My blood sugar! Wait, Kim. I have something for you. You again, Cal? What the heck do you want, you bully? Tell us where Aubrey is, and I will give you this whole big bag of candy. R really? 
the whole bag? I mean, wait, you can't buy us off with candy. Who do you take us for? I don't know, Kim. We haven't had candy for an entire week. And there's a whole bag right in front of us. We don't even have to pay for it. Can you please ask if he has any taffy? Stop it, Vance. We have to stay strong. When we get to Dad's house, we'll be able to have all the candy we want. Okay. I'll do it for you, sis. I'll die for you. Kim, thanks. I'm waiting. <laughs> like we'd accept candy from a bunch of nerds. Oh man, really? I was sure that would work. This is a waste of time. Let's get out of here. W wait, uh, please, Kip. You're the only lead we've got. Please take the big bag of candy. Well, you and Mikael, but, you know, that requires some sacrifices that no one is willing to make. We, we even have Taffy in here. Someone say Taffy. See. Changes everything. Fine. You really want to know that badly, huh? Let's settle this with their fists. If you win, I'll tell you where Aubrey is. But if we win, you give us that bag of Taffy and never talk to us ever again. Wait a sec, there's no need to fight. If you just tell me where she is, I'll give you the whole bag. I want to fight. Come on, put him up, you two. It's time to duke it out. Why are we fighting everyone in this town? What's it with you guys inviting? I guess we have no choice. Come on, Sonny. You know the drill. I sure do. We're beating up everyone in this town. I'll show you the size and everything. Okay, Timo. Let's beat the heck out of this kid. Gee, Louise! How's HP doing? Okay, HP is pretty low. That's good. Okay, so we can use the first aid kit. What? It was a wrong number. Your face annoys me. Fans said mean things about Kel. Kel is sad. You're still nerds. It scratches his belly. Vance, are you old enough to be uh to be smoking? Or is that a lollipop? But it's not a lollipop, but you said because you want candy, but I see you have candy. You literally have candy, bro. What's the issue? That hurts. Kel is so depressed. Sunny has no emotions whatsoever. No one's even interacting with Sunny. No one realizes I'm here. I love Amori. Game about beating up children. Dang, all I wanted was some taffy. We will literally give it to you. Just. Tell us where Aubrey is. It's not that difficult of a concept, guys. I can't believe we lost. We can never let Aubrey know about this. Come on, Kim. We gotta go home. It's always time for dinner. Mom's gonna be really mad if we're late. <sighs> Shoot, let's get out of here. Wait, where do you think you're going? We want you to tell us where Aubrey is. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. And they run. Aubrey's at the church, the one near your house. Oh, okay, huh? Aubrey's at church? Hey, don't look at me, you're the one who wanted to know. Also, she asked who told you to tell her it wasn't me. She say it was Mikael or something. Come on, Kim, we gotta scoot. You know how mom gets when we're late. Yeah, yeah, I hear you, let's go. Smell you later, nerds! Ah, uh, nuts, they took the big bang of candy while I wasn't looking. Those two have got some sticky fingers. Oh, well, at least we know where Aubrey is now. Or at least I think we do. Can't really imagine Aubrey at church, but I'll believe it when I see it. She doesn't strike you as a God-fearing girl.
Well, here we are. This really is the last place I'd expect her. Kind of skeptical, actually. It might be a trap. Uh, I'll open the door and take a little peek. Hmm, looks normal to me. I think they're in the middle of a sermon. Oh, there she is on the right. Hmm, she just sitting there. All normal. So weird. Yeah, I'd feel pretty bad about interrupting this. We should probably wait until the sermon is over or something. Alright. Sounds good to me. Hold on, Sonny. Let's wait here until the sermon is over. Okay. Do, 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 do. Far away cemetery. No, I want to wait, but I get the feeling waiting out here is going to do nothing and I have to be a jerk. We can just go sit down all nice and normal like, right? expect you to just walk in like that, Sonny. Well, there's no turning back now. Well, be really quiet. We sit down? No? Shouldn't disturb others during a sermon. That's true. Why are we gonna go distru disturb her? There she is on the right. Let's walk to the pew behind her. Aubrey. Psst, Aubrey. What the heck are you guys doing here? Why to give it? We want you to get back to Basil's phone. You're still on about that? No, it's none of your business. Really? None of my business? We used to be best friends, but now this is none of my business? Yeah, exactly. We used to be friends. Damn. <laughs> Sonny's just like, Damn, girl! Didn't expect this! It's real loud. You know, Mary would be really sad to hear that. <laughs> really? You really want to bring Mary into this? Who cares what Mary thinks? Mary's dead. Aubrey, seriously? What's wrong with you? I, I get that you have new friends now, but you can't just go forgetting about your old friends like that. My old friends. My old friends weren't there for me when I needed them. My old friends did stabbed me with a knife. So that's what all this is about. When Mary passed on, we were all dealing with our own stuff. We were kids. It was hard. You think it's all so simple. You've always been simple, Kel. So what if I am? I'd rather be simple than be like you. How could you do that to Basil? You know how important his photo album is to him. It's important to all of us. That doesn't mean you could just steal it. Is that what Basil told you? I'm the one keeping it safe. What are you talking about? That photo album belongs to Basil, and I'm not leaving until you agree to give it back. You're so persistent. When Mary died, you moved on so fast. You know why I come here every week. Even after all this time, I'm still trying to find some peace. But it doesn't look like that's happening today. We haven't talked in four years, Kel. A lot changes in four years. You and Sunny think you could just barge back into my life and tell me what to do? Don't be so naive! You might look different and act different, Aubrey, but you're still the same person. The Aubrey you knew is long gone. And the Aubrey that was your friend, she's long gone too. Okay. Fine. I get that you're angry. Look, if it's an apology you want, here. I'm sorry, okay? I should have been there for you when we lost Mary. No. I won't accept this. W wait where are you going? I can't let you go until you promise you give Basil's photo album back, you thief. What's happening? The dead kid? Isn't that the boy who's dead and we just... The, the ghost? I've seen Aubrey and her friends bully. Now she's stealing as well. Oh no! We're ruining her reputation at the church! That sucks. Oops. 
Let's, hey, Aubrey, can we just not fight in the church, though? You think you're the good guy, don't you, Kel? And I'm the big bad bully, here to terrorize poor defenseless Basil. You're the one hanging out with the psychopath who carries around a knife. Now's not the time to do this, Aubrey. Kel, you kind of started it, Loki. You don't get to say that. You're the one who barged in here. I already said I was sorry for everything. If you want me to be a bully, then I'll be a bully. You two better come at me quick or I'll come at you f We are fighting in a church. I don't know if we should do this. Hey guys, we're... <sighs> I don't know that we want to do this. Oh my goodness. Look at her clothing. It is completely in a look at her clothing. It's completely inappropriate for church. I I feel bad. Why are you here? I can't believe she would bring a weapon out here. How uncivilized. <laughs> Serves you right, Kel. Now, leave me alone. Ah, uh, ever since your father left, uh, she's so uncontrollable. Disrespect! I feel bad for her mother. That's really fucked up. Yo, Aubrey kind of like hella doesn't deserve this. What the hell? No! I'm sorry! Shoot, I know she's kind of messed up lately, but I still feel sorry for her. Maybe this is a bad idea. Hey guys, what's up? Why are your manners off running like that? You should be ashamed. I reserve my judgment. The Lord will be the one to judge you. It's about time that girl ran off. Oh, maybe all my friends will come back to church. Yo, you old people suck. I just wanted to spend my day off in peace. Our family comes to church once a week. Sometimes twice. Sometimes thrice. Hmm. I usually wouldn't condone fighting in the middle of a sermon. That seemed really important, and also hella cool. My money was on the pink-haired girl, so uh, yeah, I'm kind of rolling in it. That girl Aubrey has come here every week for the past few years, but she never talks to anyone. I've tried to approach her for a few times, but she keeps calling me her uh, bad things. She seems very troubled. Perhaps she could use a friend. I'm gonna walk into the back of the church. I'm gonna steal all the church shit. It's so not pretty cool, isn't it? You can't hide a rush on a bus on the streets here at all, eh? The only things here are wandering spirits. Yeah, me, of course. Brother, you are a wandering spirit. What should that look like? I the jet. <laughs> uh, sorry, Pluto. Didn't mean to offend. Did we just leave baguettes? For a man. Symbol of faraway town. It's supposed to represent a gateway to a better life. You remember learning about it in class when you were in elementary school, but you can't remember all the details. Whoa. The parallax sky going crazy. A white eager orchid. In the language of flowers, it supplies the phrase, my thoughts will follow you into your dreams. Our dearest Mary. The sun shined brighter when she was here. Mary, it feels like so long ago already. I still think about her all the time. I'm sure you do too. You know, when Mary passed away, Hero... Hero really stopped caring about everything. He didn't want to get out of bed for school or even eat. He stopped taking care of himself, stopped baking and cooking. It was like that for almost a year. Mom and Dad didn't know what to do either. We all tried to help him and be supportive, but... Nothing was really working. One night, I went over to him while he was all huddled up in his blankets and started saying stuff. Stuff like how we all miss him and want him to get better. How everyone is really worried how Mary wouldn't want to see him like this. Jesus Christ, man, this game's getting so fucking real. I thought I was helping him, but the hero, the hero got angry. Suddenly got up and started screaming and yelling at me about a bunch of stuff. Some of it was pretty hurtful too, but 
I think I blocked out a lot of it. His eyes were already super red, but the more he yelled at me, the harder he cried. I tried my best to calm him down, but whatever I said just made him worse. I've never seen Hero do anything close to that before. It really took me by surprise. And I was so scared that, well, I started crying too. Eventually, Mom and Dad ran into our room and rushed over to hug him and calm him down. But they completely ignored me. Eh. I think that's when Tiro got his senses back because he ran at me and hugged me right away. Just kept apologizing over and over. But at least Tiro got a lot better after that. He started taking care of himself again and focusing on school a lot more and joining a bunch of extracurricular stuff. He's naturally good at everything. But he still works really hard, so I'm proud of him. He's a little more closed off now than he used to be, but I'm really just had, glad to have my brother back. Anyway, sorry for the long story. I don't think I've ever told anyone that before. No, man! It's cool! It's cool, man! I love you, man! It's This is better than the fucking guy living in the shit house talking to me for half an hour about his drain. It's, it's good, good talk, Kel. Keep it up. That was beautiful. It's not his fault, but I still think Hero blames himself for Mary's death. Hero's never visited here. Not even once. I know it really hurts, but maybe it might be good for him. I don't know. Maybe. Jeez, man. This game. <laughs> Actually hidden kind of hard. I wonder how this will affect my dreams tonight. Knock knock. It's Knuckles. That makes sense where that's where she lives, right? Of course it would be that house. Make me feel even worse! <laughs> I fucking figured. I fucking knew it would be one of the decrepit ones. Did you see that? Aubrey just dumped something into her trash can. Let's go check it out. Hell, you need to learn some boundaries. I appreciate you, but really, for real though. Whoa, I don't believe it! It's Basil's photo album! I can't believe she would just throw it out like that. It's a good thing we looked through this trash can. But on the bright side, at least we have Bezel's photo album now. It only took us half a day to. Talk about teamwork. How about a high five, Sonny? Do you want to high five Kel? Yes. I would never leave my man hanging. Let's give this thing back to Basil before it gets dark. He'll be so happy when he sees it. <laughs> Figured I'd try. Every time I cross the road, I expect to be hit by a car. Knock, knock! Basil, it's me, Knuckles! I'm here to sell you a hundred million bridges! Oh, hello there. Who are you? Hi, Basil. Oh, wait. Uh, you're not Basil. Oh, I'm sorry. My name is Polly. I'm Basil's caretaker. Oh, Basil's sick? Oh, hey, Kel. What is it? Hi, Basil! We got your photo album back! Uh, huh? You did? Wow, thank you. You gave Basil back his photo album. Basil, you didn't tell me you had friends coming over. That will be 25 beatings tonight. Would you like to join us for dinner? I always seem to cook just a little too much. Dinner? Sure! Sounds delicious! Come on, Sunny, free dinner. Cal, you may want to respect Basil's boundaries here potentially a little bit. I don't know that how, how Basil's going to feel about this. Please make yourself at home. I'll go ahead and finish up the food. Wow, it's been a while since we've been in here. You definitely have a lot more plants than you used to. Uh, yeah, I like them a lot. Actually, there's some that are still alive from when you guys came here more often. Wow, 
You sure are dedicated. Yup, that's Basil for you. Flowers and photos. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Now that you got your photo album back, we can go through all the photos together. Ah, that's, uh, I don't know. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> you doing criminal activity in that photo album? Paparazzi? It's been a while since we looked through them, hasn't it? Come on, it'll be fun. Um, sure, okay. Here it is. My first photo. It's my best friend, Sonny, trying out his new violin. He's starting to take lessons again so he can play at recitals with his sister, Mary. So exciting. <laughs> oh, Kel is a sweetheart. God, he's, he's such an idiot, but he's a sweetheart. Just Kel being Kel, so many party hats. Yo, that is a good D&D &D monster. That's turn that shit into a token. That's great. <laughs> the child of many horns. The child of many party hats. Sonny playing a video game on the couch. Sonny is a little shy, but he's a really good listener. I always end up vending to him when I get upset or stressed. Sometimes I feel like I'm bothering him, but he never seems to mind. We're back from the park, but Kel is still full of energy. He challenged Hero to an arm wrestling match, but we all know who's gonna win. Please go easy on him, hero. Oof. Sorry, Kel. Better luck next time. Kel was still feeling sour, sour about losing to hero in an arm wrestling last night, so here decided to lean in for a smooch. Kel looks so annoyed. Ah, brotherly love. Me showing Sunny a book I've been reading. Mary stole my camera and took this when I wasn't paying attention. I really should keep better track of my thanks. It's all about cuddling with Sunny's stuffed animals. He has so many and they're all soft. I wish I could just lay here forever. Mary's teaching everyone how to make flower crowns. Here's Sonny and Kel holding Mary's example. Yo, Kel got a thing for me? It looks perfect, doesn't it? If only Mary thought so, too. You are still making his flower crown. It's taking him a little while, but he's getting there. You have to admire his persistence. It's raining super hard today. The rain always seems to come out of nowhere during springtime. Aubrey asked me to take a picture of her with her new raincoat. Oh my god, that's Aubrey? Oh my god! She's adorable! Aubrey won't let Kel under the umbrella, but Kel seems to be taking it just fine. Says he likes how the rain tastes. God, these children are fucking adorable, all of them. It's so sad. Just Kel being Kel again. Brother, innocence lost. The other child died, and now everyone is in the deep throes of depression. We went to hobbies, but the shop world turned Kel to leave his jacket outside because Kel was getting the comics all wet. Sorry, shopkeep. It's been pretty busy with school lately, but we finally made time to get together and go to the park today. Here's Kel hanging out by his legs by a tree. He's such a good climber. I wish I was as fearless as him. It's the first day of summer vacation. We didn't know how to spend it. There's a hundred and four days of summer vacation. Watermelon is Aubrey's favorite. Kel cooling off with some refreshing orange Joe. I shouldn't get too close or he might get my camera wet. Kel is known to spill his drinks. We buried Sunny in the sand. It took forever, but he looks like he's enjoying himself. I wonder if he's gonna need help getting out. I guess I'll keep him company until then. Yay, Sunny's turning 12 today. Even though me, Sunny, Aubrey, and Kel are in the same school year, Sunny is younger than all of us. He's the baby of the group, so we had to take care of him. Sunny's holding a huge present from Mary and Hero. Hmm, I wonder what it is. You can't really tell from the photo, but Mary and Hero got Sunny a giant building block set. Sunny seems much more interested in the box, so... He's a cat! He's a cat! I can't! I can't! My heart is exploding! My heart is exploding because they're adorable, and also, they're all extremely depressed, and it makes me sad! He acts just like Mary's new kitten, Mello! Sonny won't leave the box! So Kel put a food bowl inside. Thank you, Kel. Thank you, Kel. Always, always thinking ahead. I guess this box will be Sonny and Mewo's new home. We're going beetle catching today. Here's Kel, ready to pounce on his next victim. Oh, and Sonny is there too. Sonny is there! I didn't even notice! <laughs> he looks kind of sleepy. I went to the bathroom and came back to this photo. Kel says he took a picture of himself on accident, but I don't believe him. 
the first day of school today. Me, Sunny, Kel, and Aubrey are up right early. Aubrey is so photogenic. Ah, goodbye, Summer. Until next year. You're missing some pictures here, bud. Oh man. Looks like a lot of the photos are still missing. Maybe Aubrey kept them for herself. We'll have to get those back later. On the bright side, look how short I was! <laughs> I know, I've got at least a foot since here I left for college. Can't wait until he comes back. This year, I'll finally be the taller brother. <laughs> Anyway, don't sweat about the missing photos, Basil. Me and Sonny will take care of things for you. You just focus on getting your back to your happy, carefree self. Okay, thank you. I'll try. So, we about to wait in a second later than I thought. Would any of you boys like to help? Yeah, sure, I'll help. Uh-oh. Got some experience helping my brother cook and stuff? Oh, that would be lovely. Please follow me. The kitchen is this way. Hey, so, uh... Every time I see you in my dreams, there's like a jump scare. You want to talk about it? Oh, hi, Sunny. It's nice to finally see you again. <laughs> Why are you staring at me like that? Um, Sunny, is is everything okay? Uh... I'm gonna go on the rope. Is that Granny? Basil's grandma is breathing steadily. Nothing special about it. I can look in this mirror. There's not that many mirrors I can look in. Is my house and now Basil's house. That's uh, that's something <laughs> potentially uh, a point to make note of. Tonight for dinner, we'll be making chicken vegetable soup. How's that sound? Soup and veggies sound nutritious and delicious. You, you really think so? I was afraid you'd be a bit disappointed. People always tell me my taste is a bit bland. Don't worry about what other people think. All food is good to me. I'll eat anything you throw at me. If you just put it on a plate, absolutely not. I need food thrown at me. Where are you going? Come on, Sunny, free dinner. True. Yeah, I should probably save. to be doing a toilet some photo of Basil in his past you never met them before do I have to go bother your grandma It symbolizes the phrase, my thoughts will follow you into your dreams. I know where I've seen one of these before. Oh, Sonny, I didn't expect to see you in here bothering my grandmother. 
Uh, how are you doing, Sonny? Is everything okay with you? I know what you did, Basil. Okay, never mind then. Grandma can't hear us, you know? She hasn't been feeling very well lately. Uh, it's already been four years, hasn't it? Uh, it's nice to see that you're still around. You, you say the words, but I don't hear them. Even if it's only for a little while. Here, take my photo album. I want you to have it. I'm trusting you with it, okay? I just think you could probably use it more than me. Basil gave you his photo album. A lot has happened since these pictures were taken. Sometimes it feels like it was all a bad dream. It's hard to remember now, but I think... At the time, I took photos of what I was most afraid to lose. Flipping through this album, you can still see the good times. Maybe one day, things can go back to the way they were before. Sunny! Basil, the house is on fire! I fucked everything up! Oh, dinner's ready. Okay, that's cool. Okay, coming. One second, I need to stab your grandmother first. Okay. I'm coming out to eat now. Well, and Kel's homemade dinner. Would you like to eat some? Yeah! Hey, Kel, I'm gonna need my knife back. Everything tastes so good! You're the best, Polly! No, oh, it's nothing. I'm just following Grandma's recipes. Thanks for your help, Kel. Munch, 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 munch. Mm. So, as I was saying before, Polly, mm. tomorrow, mm. my older brother Hero is finally coming back from college. Well, I was crazy right now, preparing the house and everything. Mm. Mm. Don't want to be anywhere near that much. Mm. Oh, mm. I'm pretty excited to see him. Mm. Mm. Yeah, fucking veggies are great. I'm sorry about my language. Every time it comes back, first thing we do is compare hearts. Mm. Right, this year is the year mm, that I'm finally going to be telling him. I can feel it in my bones. I can feel it in my bones because they grow a lot. <laughs> you and your brother seem close. That's good. Family is important. Oh, hey. Mm. Uh, what you know about this photo album there, Sonny? Oh, I gave it to him. I just thought he should have it. Whoa, really? Mm. That's so cool of you. Makes sense. Mm. Especially since Sonny's moving away and all. Wh what? Uh, Sonny's moving? Oh, yeah. I thought I'd already mentioned it. Mm. Wish I forgot. Mm, forgot because these fucking veggies are so goddamn good. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know why I keep cursing during dinner. It's weird. He's moving in uh, three days, I think. Mm. Ah, sorry. I thought you already knew. Oh, I, uh, no, I guess I must have missed it. Sorry. Mm, may I be excused? I have to go to the bathroom. What's up with him? Mm, acting super sussy. Mm, well, that's just how it is. When you gotta go, you gotta go. What's up with them? Mm, that's just how it is. You got anything to say, Polly? Basil's been going to the bathroom a lot lately. I hope it's not my food. <laughs> Bro's got diarrhea. Yeah, I get the feeling he's not in the bathroom. Oh, oh. Oh no, maybe he is actually. Everything is gonna be okay. 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 Hey, bud. Oh, it's you, Sonny. You're here. I'm so glad. You, you can see it too, can't you? Something behind you. Sonny? Why? Why do you look so scared? He's my favorite guy! Sunny, everything's okay now, isn't it? Sunny! Oh, I just leave. Wait. 
Please, Sunny, no, don't leave me. No, not again. Oh, hey, uh, can, can I go back in? No? Sonny's not into that? Sonny's not into being an emotionally supportive friend? It's too bad. It's too bad. Bro's like, I ain't dealing with that shit. I'm not a paid therapist. Oh, hey, Sonny. I think it's about time we went home. It's way past my curfew. So, yeah. Anyway, Paul, if you ever need me here, here's my address. I just live down the block. He's so helpful. I love this man. I love this child. Thanks, Kelly. You're sweet. Yeah, oh, it's nothing. Just say goodbye to Basil for me. Yeah, about that. Basil! Oh, Basil! Ah, poor guy. He's always had a weak stomach. Hope he feels better soon. Mm, mm hmm. Mm-hmm. For sure. Probably wondering who I am, right? I'm nobody, really. Just a nurse who's taking care of Basil's grandmother. Two months ago, Basil's parents hired me as Basil's caretaker since they travel out of the country frequently. I try to do as much as I can for Basil while I'm here, but uh, ever since I started staying here, I can't shake the feeling that Basil is trying to avoid me. I wonder if I'm doing something wrong. Don't think you are. I don't think that's the issue. Gonna get hit by a car. Gonna get hit by a car. Gonna get hit by a car. Wait, hold up, Sonny. I know it's been a while since you've been over at my place. Dude, where do you go to sleep? Hey, Sonny. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Sorry for all the trouble. That was a pretty crazy adventure, huh? I can tell you haven't talked to anyone in a while, but that's okay. It just takes practice. Anyway, here's come back from college tomorrow, so I'm sure he'll want to see you before you leave. So, if you don't mind, I'll be coming back for you again in the morning. Good night, Sonny. Sweet dreams. Ah. And now that we're back alone again. Yeah. No more. No more ray of sunshine keeping the fears away, huh? Mmm. Oh, this is good. Oh, spiders? Whispers emanate from inside the box. Jesus Christ! Hey, can I can I call an exterminator? I think I need one. Can I go over there? Oh! Hi! Hey bud! Bros keep showing up. I can't even get over there, can I? These fucking cursed ass stairs, dude. Every time I'm on these stairs, some shit happens. <laughs> I stepped on a little spooder. Oop. Oop. Uh-oh, uh-oh. The arachnophobia is coming. Hey there, bud. How goes it? Yeah. Yeah, what's up, man? Ah! My beautiful, very alive sister. How are you doing this evening? 
enjoying the spiders? Seems like no. Oh, that's a normal thing. It's extremely normal. Okay, what's going on here? The top half of it is a spider, because that, that's the same face as last time, but the bottom half looks like the creature, because it has the eye and the, the, the dangling bits. It kind of looks like hair. It kind of looks like someone's head upside down with their hair, their hair coming down, too. My speed fell. Damn, he set up sticky webs. Shit, man. Something is trying to talk to you. What's it trying to say? Be not afraid. I tap that. Be a little more afraid. This is getting nowhere fast, huh, Sonny? Like there's a lot going on. You need to block out the little things, the spiders, and figure out what's important. You clear your mind and remember how to focus. A little spider. The there is something. There is something about these fucking stairs, dude. Every time I'm on them, <laughs> some shit happens. Can we get a nice little restroom jump scare? There it is! A very comfortable bed. Let's go Eepy. That... looked like Mary at the foot of my bed. Oh yes, me. Oh yes, me. Back in white space. I gotta give credit, man. This is very well made. Mm hmm. Welcome to White Space. You have been living here for as long as you can remember. The plot certainly thickens. Meow. Anything new in my sketchbook? Is there anything I can discern from any of these? Bathtub, maybe. Maybe something to do with drowning. Snakes, cat, bloody playground, 
There's a baseball bat. Someone at the bed, so someone was sick. The light bulbs are watching. It's a steak. And of course, our good, good friend. That does! That kind of looks like someone is looking the other direction. It's kind of like the ring. With the, 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 the girl in the ring, she comes out of the TV and the hair is down. It's kind of like that. I wonder if that's intentional. Anyways, uh, we probably have something out here. Maybe not. It's pitch black inside. You can't see a thing. The white door gets a faint shot. Open the door. Let's go meet our friends who are all normal and happy and everyone's having a good time in the fantasy of our brain. Hey guys! Long time no see! Oh, Mori, welcome back! See, hero, I told you not to worry. Amori always shows up when we need him. Is everything okay, Amori? We were worried about you. Now that you're here, let's go out and look for Basil. He's counting on us. Be patient, Kel. We have to make sure Amori's okay first. Or maybe you and Hero can go yourselves. Oh? Come on, Amori. Let's go exploring together. Just the two of us. Kel's like, nah, -uh, you ain't stealing my boyfriend. He's mine. Hey, you can't just leave us out of this. He's right, Aubrey. We have to do this together as a team. You never know when you'll need someone's help. We're stronger when we work together. <laughs> Amori and I will be fine on our own. You protect me, won't you? If this is... Since this is all Sunny's fantasy, he... He, uh... He has a thing for Aubrey, huh? Definitely, uh... Some wishful thinking of, uh, Aubrey liking him, huh? He'll protect me, won't you, Amori? Ew, gross. Get a room. And that's why Kel doesn't have a crush on Amori, because Sunny ain't fucking gay! Come on, Aubrey, time to get serious now. Let's go tell Mary that Amori's okay. You know how she's always worrying about him. Okay, okay, fine. I was just trying to have a little fun. A tentacle is poking out of the ground. A single bean on a plate. Photo of someone familiar. A baseball bat. A baseball and a baseball bat. Were those there last time, or is that new because of? Yes, your allowance for today. That's a fuck ton of clams, baby. Let's play some cards, guys. That was a good time. Always worth checking if there's some weird shit. Oh, it's Mikael. Hi, Mary. Look, Amori is here. Amori. Stop disappearing like that. You know my heart can't take it. So there's still no sign of Basil. Where could he be? We're not sure. Uh, we've been looking for him everywhere and still nothing. Uh, I hope Basil's okay. I miss him so much. He's in the bathroom. Yeah, I miss hearing him talk about all the stuff he's into. Like all the flower stuff and the photo stuff and the art stuff and the reading stuff. My hair is so tangly. I miss when Basil used to brush my hair. Amori, will you brush it for me? No. Well, I miss when Basil used to remind me to wash my hands. Look, they're so dirty. 
<laughs> Kel's that guy that just needs to be a part of everything. The concept that there are events that happen that Kel isn't included into are the kind of things that like make him hold his head and be like, No! No! It's not possible! Ew, Kel! Kel, you should probably wash your hands anyway. Everyone, I know it's tough right now, but we have to stay positive. We should all try to be like Basil. Even when Basil's upset, he always manages to smile. Oh, him and Alistar has been hotel? Oh my god? Is connected universe? Well, there's the forest west of the stump, but it's gross and full of spiders. Uh, spiders. Well, you know what that means. <laughs> Once again, it's time to face your fears, little brother. And that means you too, hero. Come on, big bro, you can't back out now. It's just like how it is with the Mori. We're here to support you all the way. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I'm just being silly. Don't worry, guys. If anything or anyone tries to hurt you, I'll smash it out of the way. You can count on it. Don't forget about me. I'll always be there to help, too. As long as you're at a checkpoint. Yeah, yeah! We can do this together. Let's go to the forest west of the stump. Lead the way, Amori. Yes, I will. I will do that. Uh, it seems that I am the perfect length to block this path. That's messed up, dude. I wanted to go check on the flowers. Wait, 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 hold on. Oh, no, wait. Oh, okay. All right, we're stuck in a cutscene. Oh, boy, oh, boy. I've been waiting so long for this event. It is a delightful day indeed. Oh yes, oh yes, at last our glorious princess sweetheart will finally make her appearance. Oh my, oh my, I can hardly contain my excitement. This show is sure to be the most electrifying of them all. Oh dear, oh dear, we must hurry. Our four front row show tickets are right here. We are in for the time of our lives and must not be late. Now, which way do we go again? Oh no, we're gonna kill these babies and steal their tickets. That's so sad, but I will murder them. Fuck them up. One damage. You'll love to see her. The Mori readies his blade. Tofu? We just stole their tickets. Hey, cool. These red moles dropped some tickets. Let me see. Oh, they're front row tickets for some kind of show. Featuring Sweetheart? Wasn't that Captain Spaceboy's ex-girlfriend? Yeah, it looks like some sort of contest or something. If we happen to pass by, we should stop and watch. We do have front row show tickets after all. Well, alright. Maybe we can drop by if we happen to come across it. Yeah! Is the dog out of the way? Now that I did a cutscene. Any chance? Oh, dog is gone, dog is gone. Fantastic. Oh! The flowers. I would like to water the plants. They're all better now. Are the other are the other flowers okay? No, they're not. This just happened because Basil wasn't here. 
as messed up. Kira gained one heart. Like one hit point? <laughs> awesome! Really gaining one HP each? This does not seem worth it. <laughs> not it. I'll take a quick save. so long. I kind of wish there was a fast traveler or a warp on the other side of it. Okay, actually, yeah, let me go check that poster out, because I was curious what that was. It seemed new. Sweetheart presents Sweetheart Quest for Hearts. Riveting Sweetheart. Sweetheart gave it six stars. A Sweetheart production for Sweetheart by Sweetheart. Yeah, she's got pigtails. Hey, I will buy some things now, I think. Yes, yes, no, customer. Dirty clams. Real quick. Eternal banana. Alright. <gasps> Wait. Where's the, uh, where's the dude? I do want to talk to the dude. I need some advice. He's uh, he's like somewhere over here, right? Oh, is dog here? I think I heard something. Nah, I don't fuck with that. Was it on the other side of the bridge and I'm stupid? I should've just gone left. I am the wise rock could give solid advice to exchange for clams. I need bad advice. Understood. Here is your advice. When life gives you lemons, start a lemonade stand in front of a train station and give away complimentary train passes with each purchase of lemonade. I hope this helps. It did not. Give me more bad advice. Understood. Here is your advice. Listen to everyone's advice. Sir, that did not help and I couldn't be happier. Thank you again. I guess I could go check on the train station. Hello, sir, madam. It looks like we've run out of train passes, but we still have some lemonade left. Did you want to buy some lemonade? I thought you are giving away for free. Bro, that's lame as fuck. Got a plum juice. Stop right there. You can't pass without her. Oh, well, that's a train pass. You must be the last passengers. We've been waiting for you for a very long time. Well, that's all clear for me. Welcome aboard, patrons. Do I want to be going on the train right now? I don't think I do, right? Like, I have a million other things I'm supposed to be doing. I'm doing a quest for you. I don't want to get myself into something when I'm literally on a quest to find my very emo friend. Are you allowed to say emo? Or did they ban that word? I know they banned a lot of words. 
I'm not sure if that's one of the ones that people get angry if you say it now. If it is, I apologize. I didn't know. Your Honor? He was not paying attention. Cal's never ready. See you later, gamer. Okay, one thing I missed last time unintentionally that I would like to get was, I believe, over up in the, just at the start of the junkyard. Is it spooky? Where was it? There was like a, there was the picture. Here it is. A photo of someone from... Nice, okay. I think that was it. Okay, so that... That is actually really good information, because... The picture of someone familiar, that has to be Mary, right? Because she's dead. And if that's associated with the guy... And the guy, like I said, is, uh... Kind of looks like hair. Maybe that's Mary's hair? It's a theory. A game theory. I mean... That thing and Mary are definitely connected. At the very least. It's just me and my friends. Good old normal. Everyone's having a good time. Everyone's doing great. Everyone's having a good time. I gotta go talk to some crows. Uh, how do I switch? You tag hero. Greetings, my feathered friend. Would you like to return to Mr. Scarecrow? He can't wait to be with you again. Kaka! Oh, yes, that would be immensely desirable. How many? There was three of them? I remember at least one in the bottom corner. Hey, buddy. Want me to take you back to your friend, Mr. Scarecrow? Ah, oh, yes, yes. Where's my friend? Take me to him. I want to say the third one was up here somewhere. That's a plane. That's a whole last plane. That's a shark plane. That's crazy. Shark plane speed runs. It's not gonna matter. Shark plane's hella dead. Shark plane lives those? He's insane with it? Ow. Bro, you know what they say about jet fuel. Hero's party was victorious. No. Oh, that's locked. Yeah, that tracks. There's the crow friend. Hey there, little guy. Your friend Mr. Scarecrow really misses you, you know? I can help you find him if you like. Please do, if it's not too much of a bother, I miss him too. That's awesome. I feel like a good person. I did my good deed for, the, for today. Time to go murder a bunch of people. My friends, they've all returned. I cannot thank you enough for your help. Now it is time for me to take my leave. Goodbye, kind stranger. I hope we'll meet again someday. Godspeed, Mr. Crow. 
Beautiful. You got a five-leaf clover. Whoa! That's even better than a four-leaf clover. Can only... Can not anyone... Not everyone equip that? Daisy. Heart plus ten... Wait. Starts where happy and bell. That's actually pretty good. Produces hit rate. Who holds the clover? You. Oh, five leaf clover. Is even a clover at this point? Luck increases more my energy. Sure, yeah. Let's give Kel that. Do we want Kel happy? What does happy do? Ha happy increases crit rate but decreases accuracy. Is that good on Kel? I think so. Just who, who someone has some skill that improves off happiness, right? Or heals, guard, removes emotion. Smile, extra security goes attack. Okay. Sad poem, sad mock. Okay. Stab. Hack away. Interesting. Makes a friend or foe happy. It's first. Strong when Aubrey's angry. Okay, not you. It must be Kel then, right? Makes friend or foe angry. Deals damage to all foes. Kel deals more damage. That's what it was. That's what it was. It's flex works well with happy. Run and gun. Kel does an attack based on his speed instead of his attack. Makes a foe feel right now in motion, deals extra damage to foes with emotion. Interesting. Okay, well, I think that's probably fine. I wanna go. Back to the best forest. Kel always gets the short end of the stick. I want to go do the train thing, but I'm scared that I'm going to miss content. <laughs> Heal and save. And we got some spiders over here. There they are. You ready to do this, Mori? We'll be right here if you need us, right, hero? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, of course. Nah, dude. Slash that ship, boy! You are no longer afraid of spiders. Amori, thanks for taking one for the team. Are these eyeballs? Firefly Forest. Ooh, the music here. Ugh. On second thought, let's look for a basil somewhere else. This place gives me the heebie jeebies. Ooh, are we getting into a creepy area? My favorite. Don't be such a baby, Kel. There are just some spider webs here and there. Yes, your dear friend Technoid. Ah! There's a spider here! What? Where? Get it off! Yeah, I just kidding. Look who's a scared one now. Idiot, idiot, idiot. <laughs> That's not very funny, Kel. I thought it was hilarious. I think Kel's just a fucking natural joker. They kill all these spider webs. 
What's in the water? The surface of the water is shimmering. Do you want to throw ten clams in the lake? Sure, why not? Oh, hi. <laughs> hey, it's me, Weeping Willow, the goddess of the lake. Thanks for the clams, I guess. They say money can buy happiness, but apparently it's not working. Can you do something funny for me? Maybe tell a joke? Yeah. Doesn't look like you have any material on you. Come back when you have a joke or two. Okay. Do I have to pay you again? There's an empty joke book here. Pick it up. You got a joke book. Who would know a good joke? Uh, I mean, SpaceX boyfriend is a joke, so we could put him in the book. Is that a face? A peculiar face is indented to the wall. You are not sure what it means. It is a face. Got mine carts. You got a chicken wing. Bro, I won the Fortnite Battle Royale? Yippee! Chugga 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 Wait, I want to stay in that room. Wait, wait, we're skipping so many things. <laughs> ah! Oh, it's broken. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Can I, can I jump off? The longest cutscene of my life for nothing? I can just walk past it. I'm literally stupid. Funny! Hero is afraid of spiders. Bug bunny! Can I? Oh no, Amori can't calm. Only Sunny can do that. Bug Bunny is sad. But he's trying to balance on his head. He's not doing a great job. Okay, that rabbit's almost dead. See you later, idiot. Wow! That rabbit did some damage. Oh, when you're afraid, you can't use skills. Interesting. Oh, he's almost dead. That would not be great. I relearned Twirl. What does Twirl do? I already attacks a foe and becomes happy. Yay! Cherry soda. Okay, um... Hero, are you able to heal now? Thank you. That is a plant with an eyeball. You got a matchbox. Useful for setting fires. Ah! That is a s upside down sprout mall. Sprout mall? Oh my god! Some mad damage. Aubrey, heal up! Let's go, Aubrey! Very smoothie. Prize! Now let's fight this thing. Rose afraid of spiders. What the fuck is this? Potted plant! Uh huh! For sure! That is what I'm looking at. You're so right.
It's fucking Urbasin if Urbasin was Ella on drugs. That's 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 this is this is Urbasin when Urbasin eats the forever weed brownie. <laughs> enemies doing so much damage it's kind of crazy miss man being happy is rough out here ain't no one wants us happy oh, I have a matchbox they like that more now. Can't find my teddy bear anywhere. Last time I had him, I was pretty sure I was wandering through a big pink castle. If you ever find him, could you return him to me? But it's really lonely. Uh, uh. Oh, uh, okay, that's fine. I'll just light that again. You got a wooden track. Oh, I needed that. I guess I could put that in. The railroad track is missing a segment. Oh, thank God. Ah, yes, a single block of tofu. Allow me to partake in the tofu. Nah, not here. In a floating mirror, your friends smile warmly behind you. So what is off this way that I need to be on the tracks for? Oh my, that's an enemy. I thought that was an NPC. Oh, Jesus! That's a whole ass mad bear. It's a rare bear. Oh. They weren't kidding. About a whole ass bear. What's its HP like? Okay. It's admittedly rough. Oh, I died. <laughs> Bro went for me. I'm glad I just saved. Oh, I can just, right, I just retried the fight, I forgot. Uh, let's, uh... Okay, so if I'm happy, happy beats mad. So I want to make him mad. Kel's the one who makes him mad. Right? Yeah, Kel is the one who does that. Happy doesn't beat sad, right? Sad beats happy and angry, yeah, I think so. Okay, so I need to annoy you. A hero. Oh, it can't get. Oh, it's already angry. You know what? That makes sense. I think we're screwed. Aubrey, it's been a good one. I don't think we win these. I mean, he simply murders me. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's GG's. I don't think we're a high enough level for this fight. I did not realize this was gonna be just a mad, <laughs> difficult fight. No, I do not want to retry. We'll come back to that later. Luckily, we just saved. He's just out there chilling. You got a present. What the heck is this thing? It's kind of slimy. It smells like bad apples. It's more forced on the other side of this lump. Come on, Aubrey. Smash this thing to smithereens. Oh? What's this? You're asking me for help, Kel. How rare. Step aside. I'll show you how it's done. I'm going to give this strange lump all I've got. And nothing changed. Well, this is embarrassing. I guess we should find another way past this thing. Yes, let's do that. Is there a way over here? Oh, kitty! I was over here first. Oh, I need to switch. Aubrey tagged you! The web is too strong to be cut. Oh. I can break through that one, though. Oh my god! <laughs> the cat fooled me! going on here I got a tail fuck No, 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 you like that, you like that, you like, you like the fires. I know you're a big fan of the fires. Oh, hello. A stump. Got a magical bean. Oh, it's it's getting dark. What's the magical bean? Bow tail, not a real tail. Speed plus fifteen. That could be pretty good for a uh, Kel. Although he has the daisy right now, but he does have a move based on speed. Where starts battle with a random emotion? Interesting. Um, Kel, what is your speed right now? 25. Your attack is only 17. So you actually go kind of nuts with this, don't you? 40. With an attack of 17? Jesus, what is everyone else's attack? 26. That makes sense. 15. Okay, so Kel, you're like second best potentially. 24. Okay, third best. Kel's actually... I'm surprised, because I feel like Kel does the most damage, but... I kind of feel like you want that. Then who could I give the daisy to? It's Aubrey? I mean, Aubrey makes... other people happy. Uh, 
That's pocket. No, not no, skills. Flex, rebound. Run and gun. Running gun is quite expensive. But it does feel like it would do a lot of damage. Um. Yeah, who needs guard? Okay, Amori we don't want to be happy. Hero being happy, does that help Hero at all? Hero's not really doing damage. I guess if Aubrey is our best attacker, Aubrey could use it. Although, luck is nice. Hero, what are you holding right now? TV remote. I think this might actually be better for you, because yeah, your defense goes down, but you know, the HP is nice. And maybe you won't be afraid. Welcome to the Lost Forest, where you find things you never knew you lost in the first place. Or perhaps they're forgotten for a reason. Mary's Picnic Basket, would you like to say? I sure would. Hmm. Interesting. I suppose we all hold secrets. No matter how lost or how deep down we bury them, they find their way back to the other side. What happened to the guy who was here? I saw... I saw a face. Oh! That's a fight. Oh. Ghost bunny. Let's try this out. Eighty-three! I mean, that was a crit. Bye-bye! I hate that Aubrey's slightly lower level than everyone. Oh, it got lighter in here? Trying to lose yourself, or have you accomplished that already? Either way, this is the right place for you. Perhaps that's why you've come here, to finish the job. What? Usually, we tend to do things we want, as opposed to things we say we do. I've never been one for wants. I'm more of a need kind of person. I suggest you look for the exit before your needs become more apparent. This journey is too arduous for those of faint of heart. Do you wish to leave, children? I will not blame you. No, absolutely not. I'm here for this. You're still here. You must have either given up or you have fully embraced your fate. Confession, perhaps, but I'm not the one to tell. Oh, did we just go back? There was a boy wandering around here before, very similar to you. He went into the darkness and never came out. How regretful it must have been to never find what he was looking for. Be it regret, defeat, or confusion, no one will know. I've seen lost and I've seen blind, but the combination is unsettling. Perhaps you are hiding away from the right way. Which way did we not go? Did we go up this way? I think we did. I think we gotta go this way. You picked up a pearl. What does that do?
pearl. Pretty calcium that's using jewelry. Can be sold for cash. It's okay. So it's just money. Morals are lost on the wicked. How does one define malice without intent? Why do you continue down this path when it's most certainly not the right way? Uh, mainly curiosity. Oh, we're fighting rabbits. Oh, there's a lot of rabbits. I'm gonna run for these rabbits. Oh, I cannot leave. Ghost bunny floats in place. Oh, so is the ghost bunny always in the right spot? Seems so. So I have to go down here. There is an old saying about wasting time when living a life that is not your own. Dreams can feel like that, like this forest lost. Sometimes, when we hide things from ourselves, we create different truths and eventually forget our way. Have you found yours yet, or are you still lost? Okay, he only has one line of dialogue. Okay. Okay, rabbit's over here. I'll just check, see what's down there. Nothing. Forget all you will, or try to. Darkness manifests whether you are aware or not. Hide the uninhabitable behind ignorance and watch your lie fall. There's nowhere to go. I'm stuck. The rabbit's not showing me the way no more. Oh. Hey, Daddy Longlegs. You have reached the end of the Lost Forest, but the beginning of the truth. I will tell you a story that has been lost through time. A story about the creation of this reality. Oh? In the beginning, there only existed two. The Dreamer and his room. The Dreamer grew weary of his room and created a door that led to many different worlds. Walking the path as a visitor to these worlds, the dreamer would come and go as he pleased. Slips and falls, tumbles and drops. The dreamer's curiosity and clumsy exploration eventually led him to a certain world. One not like the others. One painted with chaos and bathed in darkness. The dreamer slowly became filled with dread. Quiet as they may have been, words of malice quietly crept into his mind, whispering lies, secrets, and truths. Powerless to silence the noise, the dreamer manifested benevolent entities in his different worlds. Then he compounded his worlds above the Dark Realm, sealing it with their combined might. Interesting. So we gotta get to the bottom. Yet, despite his valiant efforts, the darkness's presence never abated. Even with new allies, the darkness continued to scrape and scratch at the back of the dreamer's mind. The noise might have subsided, but it never went away. The dreamer could run and bury away his fears, but one still has to face his own reflection. Like the mirrors. What the dreamer had created was something he could not be a part of. Something outside himself. That's why I'm always black and white. The dreamer's own power was his greatest adversary. Knowledge.
which, or the absence of it, would become the dreamer's greatest gift. To truly escape the perils of his own faculty and ascend to a blissful state of ignorance. Only then would the noise cease to agitate the dreamer's sanity. So, the dreamer took on another name and chose to forget himself. From that time on, the dreamer has lived amongst us. Thank you for not saying among us, because I would have had to make a joke and ruin the mood. Simply as an inhabitant of this world. Traveling along blissfully, ignorant of his own fabrication. Children, I must warn you. As with all things that are born in and out of this world, an end will threaten this one too. Though the dreamer may have subdued the inexorable, the darkness grows still. No bandage can stifle an eternal wound, and there will be a time when its influence will bleed through. Forgetful the dreamer may be of this peril, a peril never forgets to be. Yet, the end of this world may be an inevitability. The dreamer is the only one with the ability that can truly set this world free. Oh. H. Oh. Oh no, we're drawing out Hangman. The F, the H wasn't in the in the thing. Where, where, where did it say H? Where did it say H was? In a lost pyre's flame. Interesting. Huh. Well, you know, I guess in some dreams, the hat man can be a good guy. What was... There was someone up there. He's not there anymore. Can I go back or is it? Nope. I cannot. Huh. Well, that was some lore. To be sure. God, those cats are so fucking terrifying. fight that bear. I do want to save, though. And heal, actually. I do love a single block of tofu. You and your friends feel like new. Wait, I saw a thing. It's cat ears. What dumbest dems do? Nothing, apparently. Unless it's only for someone else. Aubrey, maybe? Cat ears, called it. Gives you cat-like reflexes. That's pretty good, although I do lose a lot of luck off that. I don't actually know how good luck is. I assume it's for crits. Wait, no!
Got to tomato. Okay, I'm leaving now. Okay, that's another piece of the track. Is there another one back here? Good night. An uninteresting book. Hmm, what to read, what to read. <sighs> I've read every book on this shelf over 20 times already. If only I had something more interesting to read. Uh, do I have something more interesting for you? Guess not. You got a wooden track. I believe that's all of them. Uh, yeah, let's kill the rabbits, why not? Hero's afraid of spiders! Hero should be happy and laughing. Damn, they do so much damage. It was really cute. So true. What beats happy? Sad beats happy. Actually, I think I can just kill this guy, though, so... found nachos? That's nacho cheese? Let's fight this plant again. Here's afraid of spiders. Alright, let's make myself sad. You attack, you attack, you can't use skills, right. Amori feels sad. <laughs> I can't call Kel. Oof. I'ma stab this guy now. Stab it. health. Oh, now she's happy. Bottom plant explodes! Did he kill himself? <laughs> I guess he did. Oh, Kel didn't get those EXP points, unfortunately, but uh, we do have Tofu right here. So that's pretty cool. I'm not a high enough level to fight that bear. I want to fight that bear, but I don't think I can do it right now. And win. Wasn't there a piece of the puzzle here? Put that track down! And fight this pot! force do so much damage. Am I am I not doing a good job? Am I too under level? Turn that man into bread. No. I want bread slice to work. Team spirit. What does that do? 
Makes Aubrey and a friend happy. I could make everybody happy. Happy beats angry. I would need a way to make... So Kel would make the boss angry. Aubrey would then make two people happy. Being probably herself and Kel. And then Amori makes himself sad. And Hero's already happy. So that actually is not a bad idea. Um... Makes a friend or a foe happy. I, I mean, that's still useful to make the enemies happy. If the enemy's happy, then Amori's doing more damage. I like this team spirit idea. It's a, it's, but there's there's some potential there. I should probably tofu up again. Where's my bop ba bop bop bop? There it is. Right on cue. Oh, all these dudes want a piece of me. Let's go on a ride. Oh, we're going faster. Oh, we're going faster. Oh, we're going faster. Bop. <gasps> we're going to the castle? Station for Pluto Space Line. Uh. No. Oh, there's stuff over here. Cutscene time. Basil, are you here? Basil, where are you? Hmm. Doesn't look like Basil is here either. Hey, look, it's Mary. Mary, Mary. Oh, hello everyone. You all made it through the forest. I'm so proud of you. Mary, I... I was so scared. Hero, this is kind of embarrassing. Uh, it's times like these I really wish Basil was here. He could tell Hero about how spiders are harmless and good for nature or something. Maybe then he wouldn't find them so creepy. I'm not sure if that would help him right now. Oh, hero, you're gonna have to deal with this eventually. These things will only get worse over time. <laughs> maybe. Or maybe I'll naturally outgrow it. You never know what the future brings. <laughs> what? Bro, is he okay? Bro is dead as hell? Oh, they're all very dead. What is happening here? Should I have saved? I should maybe have saved. The fucking graveyard of sprout moles. Oh, I maybe should have saved. Oh! Oh, that's fun. Oh, perfect time to test out our new, uh, our new strat. Uh, you team spirit on yourself and Kel. Kel, you annoy King Crawler. And, uh... You just attack. Hey, 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 hey! Ooh, that's some damage. You can't do it! A sprout mole appears. Oh, he's eating him! Stop it! 
have to let him eat him. Lost Sprout Mole. Should I kill him? I feel like I should kill him or the boss is gonna like heal off of it. Aubrey, attack. Hell, let's try this run and gun nonsense. And then you cook for Aubrey. Noice. A cookie just for Aubrey. It's a sprout mall. He's probably healing up that. Oh, he's happy now. Well, I don't want him to be happy. Although, that does make stab more effective. He didn't take any damage. Probably because he ate that guy. Alright, time to annoy this dude again. is decent, so let's use that over here. He's mad. What skills do you have? You have headbutt, but that only works when you're angry. Um, Alright, let's just attack with you. You run and gun this guy. And you just attack. Nice! in a bit of hurt, uh, but that should be fine, simply, although you're going to be weak on attack, so maybe you should just be healing yourself. Um, Aubrey, you counter. How much health does he have? He's almost at health. Yeah, let's run and gun again. We can always juice up if needed, um, and then... Hero? Do we need to... No, the candy will be enough. You should probably just cook for... Aubrey. Nice. Big hit, big hit. Aubrey swings back! Oh, we missed. A sprout mole appears. Uh-oh. Gotta kill that. Okay, let's use the attack again. I know we lose some of our... Bone oh, that hit King Crawler anyways. That was fucking worthless. We're wasting so many points here. I wanted to get up to 10. Okay, we got him. We pog. Alright, um... Okay, so you're out of points. Does everyone attack here? I mean, Kel goes last, unfortunately. Not Kel. K uh, Kiro goes last, so we won't know who's gonna need the health. Eh, let's give it to Aubrey here. Ooh, okay. Okay, at the very least, if we heal here, we can counter next turn. Um, 
Mori, go ahead and kill 75 hearts. That's pretty good. How close is the boss to dead, though? The boss is pretty close to dead. We might be able to get away with just hitting. Because you're gonna counter. Um, can we get another run and gun in? I think so. I think this might be the play. Nice. Big damage. Oh, he's dead? Hell yeah. You found the Sprout Bomb Ass and Tofu. Lucky Slice. Nice, that's a good strategy. Slice. Axe first, an attack that's stronger when Amori is happy. I mean, that could work over Stab, because what, that costs 15, this costs 13, so Stab is technically, ah, eh, Stab is probably better, all things considered, although it takes two, two uses, but Amori is always doing less damage, so actually having him be happy might actually be preferable. Um, let's drop, stab, and pick up Lucky Slice. That way, having the whole team be happy dealing damage to a angry enemy might be the play. Ah yes, a single block of tofu. King Crawler is his body is composed of the corpses of of sprout moles. I mean it's a vibe, I guess. I do want to wait here for Pluto. Kel's not ready yet. I'm gonna go on that train. Because this definitely seems like story progress. Enjoy the ride. I will. I forgot how nice the, like, base battle music was, because I was fighting that disturbing thing. Let's kill another rabbit. We got a quest for these. Yo. Hello, fellow bunny hater. By looking in your eyes, I can see you killed 28 bunnies. Splendid. See you destroyed my bunnies. That's 28 bunnies obliterated. Thank you so much, fellow bunny hater. You got the bunny ears. Now go destroy my bunnies. How many? 22 more bunnies. So 50 total? Gotcha. What'd the bunny ears be doing? Three defense, 12 speed. That might be great for Kel. Because, yeah, 15 is good. We drop just a little bit and get some more defense. That's probably better. I think. Sacrifice a little bit of damage on one move. For better defense. Do you want to board the train? I don't see why not. What's the worst thing that could happen? Don't say that. He's a kid. Oh, I am glad I got on this train. Here is not home, but where is home? 
Home is not here. Here is not home, but where is home? A case full of crosses? A case full of crystals. A case full of little bones. This is good. Oh yeah, no, this is very good. Am I just looping? Bat case full of dirt. A case full of spider webs. The train is moving. Yeah, it sure is. Oh! Oh! Hello there! <laughs> Everyone's afraid! You don't say! Can I win this? I get the feeling I can't win this. Shiny. I'm glad I got on this train. This is awesome. Oh, he's almost half dead. Okay. We can do this. Shunny, Shunny, Shunny. Poor Kel. Ladies and gents, we have arrived at our stop. Welcome to the Orange Oasis, where the moon shines brighter. Please exit the train in ordinarily fashion. Thank you for your patronage, and please ride with us again. Toast. Are they all dead? Hey, what was that? Oh, it's just package now. Yeah, of course. Nothing bad ever happens to us. Nothing bad ever happens to the Kennedys. Isn't the air sweet here? You can smell the sugar. Obama! I love Obama. Yeah, I'm pretty fast, but not as fast as a train. It's important to know your limits. Oh, weather's even hotter than before. Blake, he gets down easily, but he just needs someone to listen sometimes. And as someone is me. Everyone here's so different and interesting. I wonder what makes me different and interesting. Where are we? We're like not on the map right now. Pinwheel Forest, Firefly Forest. There's the castle. We're just not here. Oh, I really want to go down the basement. I really want to go down into the basement where Daddy Longlegs told me all the fucked up shit is. Let me down there! This is not even on the map. I was waiting for the traffic so long. I can't even remember why I wanted to come. Over. Over. I spy with my little eye a rainbow umbrella thing with lots of legs. Jump, jump, jump! 
I've never been to this stop before. I can't wait to explore Orange Oasis, land of possibilities. Are we not going to explain? We're just not going to explain what happened on the train. At all. Please. <laughs> why was there a horse on a train? Why is, why is Sunny afraid of horses on trains? Also, this place looks delicious. And also, like, I'm getting a toothache. Is this on the world map now? Orange Oasis. Oh, it's all the way back there. Wow, it's a big apple. An apple juice. <laughs> the deer skull up there. Ah, we got bo we got boys. Yo, what is with this track? What is with this track? Let's go! Wait, this is a jam as hell! Pancake Bunny! Let's murder him! He did a flip! He's so talented. Love him for that. Eat cookie! Okay, these guys have like no points. He's so talented, I love him. I don't know, man. The guy said we hate bunnies and I agree with him, but these are so great. They don't do any damage to me and they do little flips with pancakes on their heads and their music fucking bops. He nibbled me? I feel bad. Give me just a fuck ton of experience, please. Oh my god! This is the easiest level ups of my life! Fast food. That seems like it could be good. Axe first, healing a friend for 40% of their heart. Okay. Okay, that's potentially very good. I don't ever think I want you using charm because you're our healer. Let's get fast food. Having a, uh, a heal that goes at the start, even if it's not as good, is extremely useful. And show me those pancakes. 150 heart? This is heaven! Can I fight more of those? Cupcake one? Milkshake bunny, this is the greatest area of the game. This is the greatest area of the game. So much experience, easy fights, amazing items. Milkshake flies everywhere. Oh no! Whatever will we do? So talented. <laughs> Cherry soda and a pancake. That's actually so nuts. His area is just cheat mode? Cheat mode unlocked? What is this? Beard Ghost looks around aimlessly as if it is lost. It's priced bad for my cavity. Spare needs teeth anyway. Oh, I like this is mostly filled with senior folks who've been around who knows how long. 
but I have my hopes one day this place could be a flourishing city. There's plenty of land for development. Roll the places made out of sweets. What do you call cheese that isn't yours? Nacho cheese. Ha! Excellent, you recorded this show from your- Oh! I have to go back. I have to go back. To the overworld. The other world. There was a joke there we can write in our book. Space. Follow species. Spaces are marked. In them, I have hidden my most precious belongings. Yes. I smash my face to remember, but lightly. Any harder and it would break. Smash any harder and it would break. This looks like a job for Aubrey. It sure does. And also, I now know what that other face was. Bob. I'm gonna steal your shit, dude. Got jam packets. Jam packets. Revives all friends that are toast? Uh-huh. This area, it, the game was like, hey, Technovoid, we know you're enjoying this, and we know you're not a huge RPG guy. The world on a platter, sir. Please, enjoy. Enjoy not needing to worry about combat as much in the future. Have everything. It's yours for the taking. This place is heaven. This place is heaven. You know what? You know what, Sonny? I was thinking, hey, we gotta delve down into that trauma, see what's down at the bottom of the dreamscape. But actually, this place fucking rocks. This slaps. Let's get more of this. We're lying to ourselves. We're lying to ourselves at least until I'm a higher level. <laughs> ah, some luscious candy apples. Guess what? The sand here isn't sand at all. It's brown sugar. Now, isn't that sweet? <laughs> it sure is hot out here, though. Remember, stay hydrated, everyone. Are those ice cubes? With... What is that inside the ice cubes? I can't tell. Are those rabbits? <gasps> Pancake bunny! Yes, I'd love to fight one of you. I can't help but jam to this theme, it's so good! God, and they give a lot of money too. Oh, psh, a, a, a milkshake guy? Wait, who, this is Cupcake Bunny! <gasps> it's him! And wait, they're bunnies, so this all counts towards that quest, too! The more I think about this area, the more I realize it's literally giving me everything I could possibly want. That bunny is so sad. He can't even hit me. <laughs> He's nibbling on my fucking toe. So talented. <laughs> Yo, how is this dude living? That's a breadfruit juice. What's the password? No password, no entry. I don't know, we have to figure out what the password is. Maybe Kel, maybe, maybe Hero knows what the password is. I keep calling Hero Kel. No, okay, not even Hero knows. Prudence, thank you for talking to me. You're welcome, bud. 
prob. Anytime. A croissant is upside down and struggling to flip over. Flip him? Yeah. You flip the croissant over. Thanks. And there he goes. Good for him. And this is when I end up in hell. It's just a sugar cave. Should have. What? Wait, that's really ominous for this place. What? Oh. Uh. <laughs> Ginger dead man. <laughs> I had the- I had it backwards in my head. His head fell off. Okay, now these guys do real damage. He just bit me. Killing Amari. Fuck that ginger dead man up. I can't believe this happened to Ginger Brave. This is so sad. so much less experience and do so much more damage. These are just normal enemies now. Toast ghost. He makes a spooky noise. do I want to read this book it is said that wormholes are capable of connecting widely separate regions of space and time but this one's just a worm I don't like how it wiggles a relic of the past seems awfully cheerful despite its impending font of obscurity I used to collect these a while ago this is where they all went an ancient form of access and communication networks makes a horrible ear piercing noise when used Ah, oh, the sound reminds me of the good old days. What do they have to say about this? Warning, do not provoke, explodes when cornered. But why do they explode? Who planted this here anyway? Is this a sprout wall upside down, or are we the ones who are upside down? Hostile bunny spirits yearning for revenge. They're still kinda cute though. An evil cupcake parasite that has taken a poor forest bunny as its hose. <laughs> the forest bunny's eyes are filled with silent screams. Oh! 
<laughs> oh, this is suddenly far more horrid. A fourth bunny with a milkshake strapped on its- Oh, that one's a lot better! A cute forest bunny that sports its fallen brethren as a fashionable hat? Oh. Maybe a little sad, but definitely not dead. That doesn't even rhyme! An unamused apparition that spouts ominous phrases like, When there is no more room in hell, the bread shall walk the earth. This one kind of looks like you, Amor. <laughs> Hilarious. I like his muscles. A strange kite seems to possess a life of its own. A mysterious boy obsessed with wind conditions. He is usually seen in the floating forest flying his kite and mumbling something about the weather. Error. The fierce alter ego of Captain Space Boy, Captain of the Space Pirates. He comes out when Captain Space Boy is angry. Commands the planets of the solar system, but the heart of no one. A mindless parasite that kills sprout moles and harvests their empty husks in order to extend its own body. Okay, there's a lot of bosses left. Are we gonna get a choice again? Oh boy, we sure are. Oh, this can't be good. Oh, this can't be good. It's really making a point of it, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I bet I should've. I meant to heal Amori there, but I was just jamming so hard I forgot. These guys hit! The cookie! Do it in front of him. Make him mad. Make him pissed. Show him who's boss. Wait, I just cooked. Oops. <laughs> I did not mean to cook. Whatever, that works out. I mean, once we're out of here, we'll, we can just use a proper save. Aubrey. Fuck him up. Nope, oh, can't get out of this. That's just a single bread. The bread shall walk the earth. Tosco's taking some massive damage. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist. That's funny. They got a sense of humor. Oh, that one's black. You know what? I just realized for the first time what it's a moving attack meant. I mean, I, I, I got that it was big damage, but like, I was thinking like, oh, he was moving. Like, I was thinking like drive-by. It's literally like emotional. Like, he moved him emotionally because you have the proper emo- I got a noggin right here. I'm pretty smart. 
not a lot of people know that about me, but I'm actually pretty smart. Idiot. Idiot. <laughs> oh my lord. It was a moving attack. My ass thought Kel was just like in a car like... <laughs> a moving attack. Kel, go again! Marks, man. What the, why is this so long? You did it! Good for you! I did do it. What was the purpose of that? No, that was... Bro, that was two centimeters. <laughs> A life jam? I don't mind if I do. Miss Palmy has been taking care of us forever. She's always so loving and caring. I wish I could give her something super special. Oh, I left. I don't got nothing. A microwave. Welcome to my house. I take care of children who don't have a family of their own. It's been a bit empty around here lately, so I always worry that the children who are left will start getting lonely. That's why I eat them, so there's none left to get lonely. Hmm. Where do the kids sleep? Oh, there. Very difficult puzzle. All the pieces are blank. That does sound pretty difficult. What the hell's happening in here? Hello and welcome. Please make yourselves at home. What? There's just never a dull moment in this house, isn't that right, Victor? Wah. Mom says if we misbehave, we'll be sent to the shadowy chasm. But whatever, I ain't scared of no monsters. Oh, I found your tunnel, guys. What was the point of that? I'm gonna go find treasure down and dig, but I better make sure it's fine with mom first. Just one more pepperoni, please. I need to talk to this kid. I must. Bounce, bounce, bounce. That was worth it. Who lives in this little house? My granddaughter rarely visits, but she sends me a postcard every now and then, and she's been doing well. I can barely see nowadays, but I still make her some shapes. I can tell you are some strange looking donuts. Ah! What is this, Sonny? Did you say something? Y'all are old. I don't know if you knew that. An orange bed. A blood orange. Hey, uh, what are you doing? My name is Orange Joe, I'm throwing oranges! Whoa, so cool! But why? Because I'm <laughs> looking for my long lost twin brother, the Orange Joe. We were separated at birth with my citrusy heart, and I know, in my citrusy heart, I know that he's out there somewhere. Each orange is inscribed with a message explaining who I am and how to find me. And I'm hoping by throwing these in all directions, one of them will reach him and lead him back to me. Aw, that's so sweet. I hope you find your brother eventually. Thank you, young lady. I know I will. My body is healthy and full of hope and vigor, but just in case, if you do happen to see my twin, please give him this orange crest. I know it will lead me to him somehow. You got an orange crest. Fear not, my dear friend Orange Joe. We'll find your brother for sure. Awesome. Looking forward to it. Ah. 
Fuck, oh, man, everything in this game is just very... Very... F <laughs> just, it's all nice. This feller. Legends speak of a pair of twins who guard the Orogeoisis under the watchful eye. It is said that they have the power to raise the dead, among other things. I don't know if there's much truth to these legends, but wouldn't that be interesting? Oh, it's a rabbit. It's a murder. I This one I should put out of its misery. This is the one that has it really rough, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Or no, that was the cupcake one? I think this one simply had a thing strapped to his back. I'm learning the bunny lore. Power hit. An attack that ignores the foe's defense, then reduces the foe's defense. Interesting. I do kind of like my- although I don't really need headbutt. Already attacks a foe and becomes happy. I could also use that. Cause like... Like I team spirit- no, team spirit makes herself happy, right? So never mind. This pond water is so clear. It's like I can see a whole other world on the other side. Wait, what the fuck? What? Hey? <laughs> Why am I here? I am uncomfortable. On the scale of comfortable to uncomfortable, where one is very uncomfortable and ten is very uncomfortable, I am a six. What is happening here? If only the rain were slightly lighter. Bleh. This rain is slightly intolerable. Yummy. Yucky. We are slightly uncomfortable. Please make it stop. Plant nursery full of veggie kids. What is happening here? Bleh. Gross. Ick. Some pots, some empty, some not. It is raining too hard. It is making us slightly uncomfortable. There is a mystical valve nearby that controls our rainfall, but only the chosen one is able to turn it. No one helps us. We are doomed to be slightly uncomfortable forever. Noted. Umbrella. Uh, to the right? The rain is slightly lighter now. I did it. The rain has been adjusted. Neat. Thank you, Chosen One. We will remember your act of kindness forever. What's that, child? You want to go with them? Are you sure? If that is your wish. Chosen One. This child wishes to join you on your quest. She is yours now. Please, could take good care of her. Is it- did I just get a tomato? I got- I got a whole ass veggie kid. What does that mean? What does that mean? What do you mean I just got an entire veggie kid? Please don't tell me I eat them. Where is this child? Crazy. No, I don't see him there. Did someone get Vigi Kid as a move?
I'm so confused what that means. You are the hero of Raintown. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's go back. It's him. It's him, and he's up there. I am stuck and cannot get down. That's awesome for you, dude. Oh, he's just up there and there's... No, there's gotta be a way to get up to him. Because there's things up there. A hard bulb. You can hear something struggling inside. Aubrey, hit it. No? No hitting it? Kel, you're not hitting it, are you? need a way to deal with that. Gallipod's Gastropod. Today's specials are a news pizza and milk. I am the Novo Concursor. The Novo Concursor. Each piece of Novo is unique and deserves to be enjoyed individually. Give me 10 Novo, I'll give you a snack. They have gathered for my many Tofu related journeys. Don't you tell me trade? Yes. Hey, you don't have 10 Tofu. Uh, maybe I can buy some? Do you have tofu? You don't. I do like Life Jam. Small candies, not for sale. No. Nope. But it's good to have. Dino's dig. Of an orange oasis where the moon shines brighter. I'm Riccoli Ravioli, a food hobbyist. What is this? You got a treasure map. Sphinxes, bottom left. Yeah, I'll kill this guy. Yeah, the cupcake we should put out of his misery. Cherry soda. Oh, hey there. Uh, how do I interact with you to get your quest? I got a piece of soda, apparently. A shiny telescope. for me to interact with you. Maybe if I climb up the side? But I thought I tried that. I have no idea. Ah, oh, another rabbit. Oh, I can't fight this one? Weird. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
in Amori's fantasy, Aubrey has a thing for him and he doesn't notice her. Uh, I get the feeling maybe real life is the opposite, bud. I'm, I'm just getting a sense. I don't know if that's true or not, but... Okay, where were the three things? Did I even see three things? I thought I did. There's just one. So never mind, I guess I haven't found that place yet. I'm one dino dollar shy from a silver spoon. Welcome to Dino Shop. According to my log, it says you have a total of zero dino dollars. If you want to buy a spoon, just point it out to me and I'll help you out. Want to buy a plastic spoon for three dino dollars? No. Uh, you had a quest up there, but I couldn't talk to you up there. Food pyramid has a knack for finding lost things. Ancient artifacts, old relics, lost in time, and possibilities are endless. <laughs> the fuck? Don't scream at me. Last time I tried Dino's Dig, I found lots of amazing treasure, but this time I tried Dino's Dig, I just found some granola bars. That's pretty good. Treasures on display here from all over the world. I want to travel around the world someday. Welcome to Dino's Dig, I'm Dino, the founder of Dino's Dig. Are you hungry for treasure? Ready to have a spoonful of adventure? So you come to the right place. Dino's Dig, we have created the ultimate treasure hunting ad adventure, which you can experience for low price 100 claims. Pretty enjoy the fun and excitement of digging for treasure? Yeah. Hell yeah. Dino Pitch! <laughs> the lack of animation is very funny. Alrighty, kiddos, first things first, here at Dino's Dig, we dig with spoons! Since you're out of I'll give you a potato spoon for free. Choose which spoon you like to use. Potato spoon. There you go, right on, brother. You're a quick learner, aren't you? Now, a special site in the food pyramid, you'll be able to uncover super rad returns from all over the universe. The best part is, you get to keep anything you find. That's a Dino guarantee! Let me tell you about our dig site. The food pyramid has four levels. You'll always start out on the first level, but if you're lucky, you might just find a pyramid key that unlocks the pyramid gate on to the next level. The higher you go, the better treasure will be. Now here's the catch. Each spoon has a limited number of uses before it breaks. For example, potato spoons will break after you dig five times. The spoon breaks, the treasure hunt ends, the pyramid gates close, and we'll call you back to the entrance. You understand everything I said so far? Dino Drastic! Now it's time for our Dino to slip. Treasure isn't the only thing you'll find in the food pyramid. Turn around, you might find some trouble with some critters looking for a fight. We aren't liable for any damage to you or your property during your adventure, you dig? If the current knocks you out during a battle, it'll be a real game over. Well, that's pretty much it. All stuff for you to do is to... Go up those stairs, smell this sweet food pyramid air, and start digging. Have a dino testing adventure. Okay, so I need to find the keys, because I need to get up to wherever the treasure map was. What is this, fella? A strawberry snake? He hisses. Damn, boy's got some health on him. Shit! Like, actually? Insane amount of health. the last time I've saved. <laughs> I, um, I need to make it more sad, I think. Or I can make the... No, I would need to make the boss angry, but I can't.
happy loses to sad, yeah, okay. I could also remove his emotion. Oh. I would rather not game over. The whiffs are important. lives those. Alright, let's fuck this guy up. Give me immense amounts of experience. Yes! Unfortunately, Kel does not live to see that experience. Very sad. Okay, health is definitely not looking great. Actually, let's just... We have so many juices. I should probably avoid the enemies. I didn't realize how incredibly strong they were. We need a pyramid key. Uh, I don't want to fight the snake. Uh... Got a dino dollar. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's a porcupine! How strong are these dudes? Oh. Oh. I see. Yeah, that makes sense. All I'm getting is dino dollars. Another spoon bites the dust. Each spoon down, it's game over. We found dino dollars. Uh, yeah. Oh, I don't have enough dino dollars. How many dino dollars I got? Seven. All right, let me pick up this uh, wooden spoon. Sick choice. I am. Let me on in. I am so ready to have another Dino Tastic adventure. You would not believe. Okay, so my treasure map only applies to the top, right? Yeah, there's two, two guys. Okay. So it's definitely a higher floor, but it doesn't look like the top floor. So that's good. I found Hector! Wait, what? Oh, Hector! Could it be? It's really you! Come on, Hector! Back in my pocket you go! It'll be just like old times! Ah. Kel, my old friend. I'm so sorry. I'm afraid things have changed and I can no longer accompany you. You see, I have a family now. Wait! Hector Jr., what are you doing? Are you saying that you want to join them? 
That there's more to life than just staying here? Oh, Hector Jr., hi. I understand you well. Even this old stone, you want to have fun once. May you all have memorable adventures together. Go and join him, Hector Jr. Into his pocket. You got Hector Jr. Yeah, just like that. I guess it's just farewell, then. Thank you for never giving up on finding me, Kel. Hector Jr., you be good, okay? Don't forget your family. We're always here for you. Well, the next time we meet, you'll have flourished into a wonderful polished rock. Don't worry, Hector. I'll take good care of Hector Jr. I know you will, Kel. Just don't lose him this time, all right? I won't. I promise. That's beautiful. Hector Jr. Oh my god, that's a lot of stats. Stats increase with more energy? What is energy? Is energy a stat? Veggie Kid. That's... Potentially quite useful. Thirty-four, twenty-two. Okay, so that's only bumping by like three each. I don't know what energy is. That actually lowers. Yeah, that makes sense. Four goes only up by one. That actually is quite useful. Although then I'm not happy anymore. It's good stats though. That purely buffs me. Like a significant amount, but then I lose happiness, and I do like happiness. Eh, I don't know, I'm not good at this stuff. <laughs> Nachos. I got ramen. Not helpful, guys. I'm guessing one bunny is going to be really hard for me to hit. Oh, he's sad. Yeah, bye, hero. I figured that might happen. Hero, I need you to cook. Pyramid key, okay, okay, okay. Is this where the treasure is? This doesn't look like where the treasure is. <gasps> is that orange, man? Eh, what am I? Who are you? Wait a second, you look kind of familiar. That body shape, that citrusy exterior, it's undeniable. You must be Orange's twin brother, Orange Joe. My name. It's on Joe, and I have a twin brother. Yeah, and he's been looking for you all this time. Here, take this. He told us to give it to you. You gave Orange Joe the orange crest. This is crest. Could it be? Ever since I was young, I've looked everywhere for my true home. The only thing I've had to my name was this pendant with an orange-shaped crest engraved on it. The same one that appears on this orange crest. It all makes so much sense now. I know who I am. I must be. Oh, rat. Oh, rat. Oh, oh. Orang... No, or It's not Orange Joe, it's Aragni Joe. I just realized. Has it always been Aragni Joe? I've just been saying Orange Joe. Brother! Oh, it is Orange Joe and Aragni Joe. I don't believe my eyes. It really is you. Yes, brother. It is me, Aragni Joe. There is no mistake. I can feel it in my citrusy heart. Oh, how I've missed you, dear brother. 
Yes, my body is full of hope and vigor. How I've waited for this day. We made it last, dear brother. Let us embrace. Let us embrace. This is beautiful. I must thank you, children. I have thought about my dear brother for every day of my life, and now he is finally here. Please take this as a token of my appreciation. Oh, nice. Thank you. Yes, thank you for reuniting us. I waited so long to find my one true home. Take this. Here's a gift from me. Thanks, guys. You are too gracious, dear brother. It's so much to this meeting. Let us walk together. Hope and vigor. Hope and vigor. Hope and vigor. Okay. I, that's cool. What is this thing? <laughs> what? I gotta know. They're literally just cilantro and ginger. Okay, I'm leaving. I just wanted to find out what they were. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna need another key here. Maybe we get lucky. I'm stuck. Am I trapped? I'm trapped. I've been trapped by by a ginger. There's nothing I can do. Please move away. Fuck. Fuck. Did I just get soft locked? Cuz I can't beat him. So I only lose, and then I lose so much progress from a game over. I mean, I assume these guys are extremely strong. I can't even hit him, Jesus Christ. How much damage is that? Yeah, they have... I cannot kill these guys. Fucked. I have to game over. I go so far back. I lose so much progress. Please go away. Please move. <laughs> Please move, is there anything I can do? I think I'm screwed. <sighs> Alright, well, it, okay, it's just one guy. Maybe we can do this. Because I can break, I just need to break through his defenses. All I need to do is break through his defenses. This is possible. This is possible. Um, I'll increase his defense. Um, did I not give you the thing that breaks through your defense? Might be possible. I don't I don't know how possible, but we're gonna try. Okay, so drop lucky slice. Back for stab. And Aubrey, you have a move. Reduce the defense. Clearly this guy just has a ton of defense, so. Okay, make yourself sad. 
you power hit, uh, just attack. Okay, I'm already sad. Okay, 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 we're making progress. Okay, now you're sad. Now we start stabbing. We can do this. We can do this. Still zero damage, okay. Nice. Drop that defense. Okay, here's that for the count. Stab him. Okay, we're starting to do damage here. We're starting to do damage here. Okay, Aubrey lives these. experience oh thank god <laughs> never again please mango smoothie dino dollar oh we're out Spoon down, it's game over. I found a few things. Okay, let me go real quick get a save just in case that happens again. Where is uh, there? There you are. Yeah, I'd like to eat some candy apples. So many levels. <laughs> Alright, how many dino dolls we got? We want to save up for the best spoon, I think. That's our best shot. Ten? Okay. That's only six. That does cost ten. We could just afford that right now. That might be the play. Because worst comes to worst, we probably, hopefully, break even. And I mean, it is our best shot at getting to the top. Give me the silver spoon. I will have a Dino Tastic Adventure. Dino Dollar. In case there's one. Pyramid key, fantastic. Up to floor two. Dino pasta. Dino pasta. I need more dino dollars. Pyramid key? Okay. Uh I don't want to deal with you. Okay, out of there, up to floor three. May this be the floor that I need. Oh, yes. Fantastic, I believe I have to go down there. Whoa, he's running. Guys, that's, that's a, that's a rabbit. That's, that's a rabbit? Rabbit? Yeah, 
He's just gonna be dropping attack. I just, I feel like, I, I feel like we need to de defeat this for the purposes of the lore. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. rabbit now. We need more juice for Mori. You just go ahead and stab. You still have power hits on you. Uh, but we'll leave. I think we'll leave the snacking to you. Mori's attack fell. Any lower. Okay. Yeah, we're starting to do some damage to this rabbit. Bunch of EXP for it, and learned mood record. Homemade jam. Way that actually sounds bug. Should we just get our res? <laughs> Brings back a friend that is toast. That's what you want to see! Dino clumps. You know what? We need to check what faux facts are on the rabbit. An abomination. <laughs> Truly appalling! Yeah. Dynamite. What are these? I gotta thank you, Fossil. What is happening here? Oh! Oh, the chicken ran away. Did I did I happen to get that in my in my book? 
the chicken or do I have to actually kill one? No, it's there. Poultry in motion. Ain't nothing but a chicken wing. Okay. Poultry in motion. Wait, that's hilarious. Okay, pyramid key. Uh... Let me avoid from these rabbits! Top of this pyramid. Oh, there's just a chicken up here. Oh, it just keeps running away. A whole pizza, a watermelon juice, a dino jam. I got so much good shit. Yo, this, this world, this level rocks. Oh no, oh no. That's not good. I'm kind of scared. I, I think I'm just going to skip that one. Yeah, I'm, you for like 100, for 100 gold, you get so many useful items. Big spoon down. I did find a lot of gold treasure. I found the coolest treasure. I got seven keys. We're building out Hangman. Something. Black ace. Black place. Black space. Black space. Must be black space. Is like white space, right? Is there a way that I can talk to that man up there and get his quest? I don't know how to reach his head. Okay, well we we've been going for a while. I think that's a place to call it for sure. Uh, next time we'll go back to the castle. Um, kind of took a big detour in the second half of that. Uh, you know, bought a, you know, demonic horse on a train, came here. This, this whole, this whole area has felt like a fucking fever dream, which is funny because the whole game's a dream. Uh, anyways, that's gonna be it for me. Thank you for joining. We'll be back hopefully next week. I don't see a reason we wouldn't be back next week, but who's to say? Uh, with more and more, I am really enjoying this game. Despite the fact that I'm not, you know, super, super big on the, the combat. You know, it's it's fun enough. I'm sort of getting into the strategies a little bit. Um, and the characters are lovely. And the story is lovely and charming. So I'm very much enjoying that. And the spooky parts are good. I like those too. I was really looking forward to the spooky parts. And... and so far, they've been pretty good. So, uh, good night. Bye.